about the uh, the story, right? Oh yeah. So here's what happened. We going, we're we're leaving the uh, the promo shoot. Yeah, you know we got a situation coming up. You will be hearing very soon and very detailed. In very detailed, you know, eventually. But we're leaving that. We're going. I'm, I'm you know, going home. You know, what I'm saying we're driving to home crib. We pull into the neighborhood, right? Yeah, nigga. So yeah, we're yeah, behind yeah, this yeah, fucking yeah. white. It's, it's this white dude, but he's in like this fucking Silverado truck or four whatever, by right? Four. four by four, open trunk, right? Lift, lifted, lifted, yeah. short, chubby nigga. Uh-huh. Okay. So he's driving. He does, you know, in a neighborhood when you want to back in to your cul-de-sac, yeah. it could be a little weird. When but you're how, on the main road. When you're on the main road. When you're on the main road and you live right in the center of that shit, you trying to just in the middle of traffic, yeah. turn yeah. around and reverse back into your crib, that's an egregious maneuver to just be pulling off. It's, if it, cars are, if it's cars a, are behind you, yeah. If car, and it's several cars. Like it, This is the entrance to the neighborhood we come in. And granted, okay. it's, it is an egregious move, but the way he executed it, it wasn't good. Like his initial left turn to get the wide angle, was, was it off. wasn't good. It Nasty. was off. So he had to fix himself. So the, it's almost like Nasty. That, so he had to readjust. Yeah, he had to readjust. So yeah. I was like, "Well, shit, fuck that." And luckily, in Tone's neighborhood, it's not a regular sidewalk. It's slanted, so you can drive up. You get what I mean? So I go around. You know what I mean? Regular. You know what I mean? Like some New York shit, right? Yeah. Boom. I'm driving off. I hear. Bow, bow. I'm like, hmm, regular. I wonder what that is. Yeah. Maybe that's mm-hmm. neighborhood thing. He, he's upset. Right, right, We're yeah. driving. This nigga's following us. Oh, uh-huh. oh so word. Yeah. The, 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 but it just so happened, fate, there was a stop sign right there. So mm-hmm. I was like, perfect. I'll just get out the car and we'll handle this. Yep. <laughs> right? <laughs> Literally. So uh-huh. niggas get, I get out the car. You know what I mean? Tony mm. followed. I, 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 he didn't have to. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. but I, this you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. happening. <laughs> this is happening now. So we get out the car. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. we get out the truck. He He's not right behind me. He's kind of like near my gas tank. He's pulled up right there. So I go, we're going up uh, to his passenger, right? And we're like, Yo, what's the problem? Yeah, what you know what I mean. Like, what's yeah, the deal, yeah, buddy? Yeah, yeah, and he's yeah. like, "Hey, like you, you can't wait. You, you gotta go there that fucking fast. You, you need to get to where you need to go that fast, buddy." Slow it's, down. There's kids it's, here. It's kids here. And I'm like, "Are there kids in the truck?" And he's like, "It's, it's kids here. You, you shouldn't be going that. Fa- you gotta go there that fast." Oh, that's so shit. at that point, I'm like. Well, all right, well, shit, fuck you. Like, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah, fucking yeah. yelling at me, fuck it. L- this is it's, what happens. At that <laughs> no, point, yeah, yeah. And so, Justin's beige rage activates. No, There's no, no. no. <laughs> beige oh, rage. Oh, guys, no, guys, no, guys. No, no, no. Right. No, full of no, bull. Listen, no. listen. For context. No, no, let me. Let me for context. No. Hold on, hold on. Right. For context, right? So Justin can get to a point where the temperature is so it's so hot no. that there's no more ration anymore. It's, no. Like, he, he sees red. So... What happened was we barking at the dude. He's barking back. The situation does not de-escalate. So naturally, Justin's like, all right, let's take it to where it's going to no, be. No, no, no. That's he not stopped. what happened. Oh. That's not what happened. So after that, we got back in the car. We're still driving. We drive a little bit more because we're still like nowhere near his crib. But there's a roundabout. But I didn't. But so Hold we're on, driving. You're telling it out in order. We so pull we're driving. Off. So we, we pull, pull off. off. We got, pull off. So wait, this is after y'all stopped for the first so after time. After we stopped, we got in the car. We pull off. Mm. So as we're driving, yeah, we get we in the yell, car. We and get and in like the I car. Said, like he said, it's, it's not. <laughs> I was like, I was like, uh, the, uh, what did I say to this nigga? Uh, because he he was really pussy. Like he, he came at us like he was really about aggression, but you can hear it in his voice like he really didn't want it. And I was like, uh, he said some. He was like, "It's kissing here." I was like, "Hey, buddy, your voice crack. You sound like a bitch." And then he was like, but So then he, we get back in the car, right? We pull off. The niggas following us. No, 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 no. Let me tell. Let me tell. Let me tell. Let me tell. Because this no. is where I get pissed off. This is where like where you get before, pissed off before. I'm like, all right, this is about to happen. Like, you know, this is about to happen. But I'm more laughing at it than truly pissed off. Once he follows us after we stopped, now this nigga's coming to my crib. Like, I have my girl, my mother, my sister. Like, that's not happening. So now my emotions are involved now. We pull over again. Everybody gets out the car. We looking at the nigga. We start barking at him and shit. Yeah, yeah. Now this is where you start seeing red. Because he's not telling the story right. This is why I don't like him telling the story. He's kind of fucked it up. He's telling it wrong. This is what happened, right? That's not even what happened. The whole thing was a misunderstanding. He wasn't following us again. 
He was just trying to go so he could turn in the roundabout and go back home. So he's saying that, mind you. He's like yelling, like, no, nah, I don't want a problem. I just got turned around. Justin not hearing that shit, though. He keep approaching the car. I'm like, hey, 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 Justin, relax. Like, but he says that. He's but waving he, the white he flag. He was just as mad. You he get was, what I'm saying? But I heard what he said. He was like, nigga, I'm just trying to go home. And you keep pressing the car. Well, shit, that bitch ass nigga, should've, he should have been <laughs> slowing down. You know what I mean? <laughs> but nah, he knew what he was doing, though. You get what I mean? Because at the end of the day, you, he could have just turned around right there if he wanted to get home that fast. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If he really needed to get home. Oh, yeah, yeah. But he decided to follow. And you know what I mean? Especially it's, since he already made that kind of maneuver at the beginning. He of the already day. made that. He, he already fucked it because but that, when, we, think that's when we when we had first when we had got back in the car, it didn't de-escalate. It just kind of like we. Yeah. How did y'all separate? It, from there that? was. It was just like, well, fuck you, nigga. And I was like, well, he's not getting he out. The, get out the he car. didn't get out the car. So I was like, man, this nigga is tripping. Yeah. So right? like, he, and he so then wanted. we pulled off. Nigga, I took the keys out the ignition the second time we got out the car. I'm like, shit, we might be here for a minute. Fuck that, nigga. <laughs> he might be here for a minute, nigga. You know. I had to drop kick this nigga. I will say, Jay Nobles is ready to put all of his trauma, <laughs> all of his transgressions nigga, I onto me, that man, nigga. I, I was like, <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. in the car. It was, it was a little cool down my mind. I looked at this nigga. I was like, shit. I didn't even. I was like, good God, this I, nigga sizzling. I didn't even look at him. I was just like, whoop, that's how it has to be. I didn't yeah. even know what he was doing. You mm -hmm. feel me? I just expected he was somewhere, like, around. That's but, funny uh, as shit. Yeah, nah, I was about to put. Fucking hands and feet on that nigga. Yeah, now you're about to see if all that training is crazy. Was gonna be out. Y'all was gonna have to bail niggas out. Yeah, I was gonna expect that phone call. Yeah, yeah nah. man. AJ, I know you haven't been here in a minute, but goddamn, <laughs> we need your help. <laughs> I need you to come back home. <laughs> Hell yeah, word. Yeah. Oh goddamn, that's amazing. You never know. But yeah, that happened. He didn't get out the car, right. so he 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 truly didn't Shit. want an issue. Yeah, nah, he, he didn't, didn't want to. He didn't want an issue. Thank God, because I didn't want no issue too. Sound like you did. Nah, man, but it's like <laughs> you you can't you can't allow that. It's one thing to be mad, but he didn't even think of where that could lead. Right. 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 Because it's not like he tried to de-escalate it. He 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 approached me yelling. You get what I'm saying? But that's, he didn't he didn't think that far, and that's what I was mad at. And the fact that you he get, didn't think that far makes me think it's it's some turmoil going on in his life. Yes, yeah, that turmoil. was the last straw of the day. Yeah, like his bitch probably fucking one of his bosses. Yeah, and like his job is in turmoil. The his nigga, kids don't respect he him. He low on iron. Literally, yeah, he yeah. has been hard in twelve years. It's like yeah. it, all that shit piles up, and then you got two young brothers that just kind of cut you off in the middle of the traffic. Yeah, you know, you might spaz and not be prepared for the repercussions. And it's just unfortunate, man. It's just unfortunate. Because I was ready to see what this training could do. I was, do, nigga. Ready. I was <laughs> ready to see. Like, well, let's see. I was let's very see. excited to see what's about to happen. I'm about to tell you, nigga. I was very excited to see what's about to happen. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. Because okay. this nigga was not prepared for anything. Yeah, nah. He wasn't prepared. Yeah, nah. He was not prepared for anything. But other than that, it was a pretty good day. Mm -hmm. It was okay. a pretty good day. I went to, um, shout out to uh, Noah, 2H, uh -huh. in the fest, in the galaxy. Shout out to Disgrace Weekly. Okay, You yeah. know what I mean? All the the, the wonderful artists. It was, it was fire? Um, it was it was okay. It was pretty good. I showed up around like seven. Okay. Uh, okay. You know, and, and niggas is crazy. Like <laughs> niggas got some notoriety. Like I was outside smoking at which I didn't know was the entrance. Mm -hmm. These niggas just walked out. I didn't have to pay to get in. Of course, I you know I threw some bread for off sure, the for sure. you know off of respect. You know, you it, threw shit some caused, bread. What you mean you threw some bread? I threw some bread to him off of respect. Like who, I didn't to who? Uh, to H. You gave it to him personally. Nah. Well, or you paid it for a ticket at the door. No, app, like Apple Cash. I just Apple paid him. You Apple paid 2H to get into the end of Fest. No, I did. they let you in for free. Yeah, I was like, just out of respect. Like, How much you send him? I think it was like 15, 20. Hmm. Nah. Stone is changing you. Nah. You're getting more <laughs> compassionate. Nigga, how? <laughs> I don't know. That just sounds like Jay Noble's just giving tips. When, what you mean? When have you heard of him? And gratuity in the same sentence. Yeah, so, but it's a lot of changes happening in Nobles. At it's one a time. lot of changes, but, but mm, mm. they're good changes though. They're Some positive. Of them. That's yeah. not even true. Some of them. Yeah, that's true. not Some even true. That's just off of respect. Off of respect. Really, out of you, you know, even what start I mean? respecting niggas to you guys a certain jewelry, but not right. certain jewelry. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm I'm waiting for you to make the segue. There is no because it's obviously <laughs> you're so excited. There is no segue. And it's like it's crazy, right? There is Let's no start it because I think he's because I had to prove him and his girl wrong. No, he didn't. Last night, because she was coming at me, talking about my jewelry not real, my minerals fucking uh, fraudulent. You get what I mean? My fucking bloodstone. And on we that might, note. Yeah, type in bloodstone while we, yeah. On that note. Thank you. 
Hello, world. Yep. Two of America's most wanted here. We are in the building. Jay Nobles. Tone Groove. White man behind the boards. Yeah. This is LOI the show. Yes. We are in the building. Shout out to all the lovely ladies of LOI. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Mm -hmm. um, shout out to the Legion. The Legion, too. You, you don't ever respect them niggas. Shout out to all the Legion. Well, I mean, you shout out to dudes. That's your job. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but um, no, on a serious note, shout out to all the live viewers in this watching right now. Shout out to all the moderators um, mm -hmm. that got lucky and became moderators. <laughs> y'all niggas. niggas got lucky, man. Y'all beautiful power bestowed. Y'all worked hard for it. And it's like y'all doing your due diligence. So, you know, I appreciate that. You know, uh, anything else we got to shout out? Not right now. But, nah. but, but oh, we could shout out your jeweler. So or your hoodoo priest. So what do you call it? Let's, I'm going to break it down, right? So I'm at work, right? At my job. We were having some black expo, mm -hmm. like basically a little event. It was some like vendors. They were celebrating black entrepreneurship by letting them come and get their products off to, you know, a certain market. Exactly. Exactly. White Slimy people. Slimy salesmen. White people. Mm -hmm. and, and their calendars. And and the company gave us $20 in redeemable bucks. And there was the leader of the company on my black bucks. The nigga was a white dude. It was a white dude on my black bucks. And on the dollar, it said black business, like a uh, dollar. You take a picture of it? No. Yeah, that, that would have been crazy to Fuck. see. But, hey, I mean, once you go but corporate, it, that's kind of what you got to expect. But, yeah, I was like. You I, can't be a black man in that environment. You can't be black and righteous. But I, You got to accept that type of shit. I did feel some type of way. I was like, God damn, like, it, white dude on my black dollar. But, anyway, so I go down there because I'm definitely about to spend this redeemable $20. Mm -hmm. I walk in. It was cool. None but black women. You know what I mean? Those are usually <coughs> typically behind booths at uh, these type of events. Uh, it was some B girls. It was some candle. Uh, uh, this girl, she had like candles and oils. Shit smelled good as fuck. I wish I had the cards. But the universe pointed me to a certain direction. That uh, you know, you I, I couldn't. A frequency I mean, room. I couldn't uh not go there. So I, it was I saw, energy I saw this black woman, and she had these uh these necklaces, mm -hmm. right? And she had bracelets. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, uh, oh shit! I'm like, what's this? And she's basically breaking it down. Like, yeah, these are some minerals, uh, wrapped in copper. You know, I make it by hand. Okay, you know what okay. I mean? Uh, you know, I do it all myself. It's all natural, holistic, mm -hmm. natural. Okay, black woman, okay. lovely lady. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, all right, I can dig it. I buy it, right? I, a couple days pass, I tell Tony, right, he's doing all this, like, you know, like, oh, like, you got on me about the order. No, like, oh, like, no, 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 no. You see how he's about stop. to talk? No, 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 no. Stop. He, he started, like, stop. He, he got real, like, feminine, like, oh, stop you, got on, you got on me when I had talked about my organite, okay. murder, murder, my organite. And, and the reason turn. that happened was because you didn't know nothing about the organite. And for you all of y'all waiting, to get ahead of for the all of y'all waiting, you see how you try to get ahead of the narrative? You saw that shit right waiting, there? That is low for down, all, and that is dirty. For that is all of y'all <laughs> waiting. That is nasty broadcast. For all of y'all waiting. That is disgusting behavior. Hey, yo, you did load up Nigga, a little bit. For all, you see that shit? For all of y'all waiting for the anticipation, Lord, yes, the mineral you? is a bloodstone. Do they see this? Hold on. Before they see this, what? Lord, open the strepid tab. Google the definition of grifter. <laughs> grifter. Google that. And, and whatever funny thing, he said it last night, so it better be fucking funny grifter, again, nigga. Grifter, someone who swindles people out of money through fraud, is a con artist. Be Crystals, nigga. You are a con artist, nigga. I'm a con artist. Put it this way, right? The Wait, reason so that the name Jay Fuller Bull is so suiting for a nigga like you is yeah, because it's perfectly yeah. on brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> With your philosophy yeah, yeah. and the way you display your arguments. Yeah. On this very podcast, in these very seats, okay. in these very motherfucking microphones, nigga, yeah, yeah. I put you on game on numerous occasions about the intricacies and the nuance and yeah. the inner workings for of sure. how the world works and yeah. how the universe for sure. Plays a major role in that part. Mm. You had nothing, nothing constructive to say. Mm. In fact, mm. you shamed and scolded niggas yeah. for being on a higher consciousness than you. Mm. And then you mean to tell me mm. that like you didn't even wait a full like at least three months. A couple of weeks later, you back here on this complete 360 bullshit? First of all, it's not that I'm on a complete 360. But here's the thing. The I thing can is, tell you, I can tell you about the mineral, about the copper that's wrapped around it and how well, that well, and how that channels well, the why frequency. Well, why did you, you do that, my brother? Wait, 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 wait,
please tell us more, nobles. You know, please let us know. I'm asking you, tell us more, because you said you can. So the frequencies, tell me what type of frequencies these are. Let me tell the people. Let's break it down as to what it is. Tell the people what's going on. And this is all. This is bullshit. And I do want to let y'all know that this uh, this mineral it helps with like uh, you know keeping demons away. For all intents and purposes, <laughs> right? Just, Why are you pushing on? <laughs> I mean, he's just over there. I've done, but anyway, right? About the mineral. Let me just get a clip. You know. <laughs> feel, feel how much it weighs, AJ. Oh, it's got weight to it? No. It's a light. Sadly not. It ain't no rock. <laughs> okay, so let me tell him. Feather okay, light, so right? this is a bloodstone, right? It must right? not be sacred. You're letting everybody so else hold it. Nah, nah it's mm -hmm. good. It got the copper shooting around it. I'm good. The frequency is going to balance itself out. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I'm... I go up there. I, I'm on some joking shit. I'm like, yeah, you know, I need some superpowers. I need some strength. Yeah. You know what I mean? And she's like, hmm, strength. And then she took me a little bit too literal. And so I'm like, you I know. I don't need to touch that fraudulent bullshit. <laughs> right. I would like but, to keep my own good mojo going. Okay. But so I'm like, uh, you know, grounding, you know, strength, you know what I mean? All that good stuff. And she's like, well, you know, this is a bloodstone. You know what I mean? It represents, you know, grounding, knowledge. But I looked it up last night. It represents the person, the wearer, getting closer to crisis consciousness. This is what it says, nigga. So, and allegedly, the blood. Do you say crisis or Christ? Christ, Christ consciousness. He's still learning. Okay. But yeah. no, no, no. The blood inside, like the, the sprinkles of red, is allegedly, you know, the droplets of uh, Christ's blood that was left. You know what I mean? When he was hanging <laughs> on the cross. But anyway, <laughs> your Lord needs saying, his own camera. Angle. I'm not saying. <laughs> I'm not saying I believe in that lore, but I'm telling you the past knowledge okay, and yeah. where it derives from. Yeah. But now speaking on to the copper, which is what I had to prove his girl wrong, him and her, because uh -huh. like they was trying to tag team on some like, like, yeah, we're a super couple. We're going to prove him wrong. Right. Yeah. yeah, and, yeah, so, yeah. And, he was, and he was trying to have her back and shit. And so I'm like, because she was fucking with me about my copper. And she was like, your copper is fake. Like, why do how you even think that's real? Da, 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 da. I'm like. I look at Tony, uh, you know, like, like bamboozled. I'm like, shit, can I? Because you didn't even I, think. I'm you didn't at, even think of I'm the looking, concept of no, fake copper. I'm looking at Tony. That never done. I'm looking at Tony. Like, do I have the right to prove her wrong? Okay, yes or no? Okay. okay. Not can yeah, I? Yeah, can, yeah. Can, is this a is this a respectful <laughs> yeah. manner right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how. So I look at him, and he's like, I don't know. And so I, that's not I'm what like, I said. So I said I think, you need to defend yourself because you're on the ropes. I take that I was as a like, yes, buddy. Get up. So she starts. She starts. You know, talking shit like. Nigga, that copper ain't real. Like, how? What the fuck you mean? Copper balances out uh, frequencies. So that's not what she said. That's so not what she said. I, I immediately broke it down. I was like, all right. So basically, copper. Everything is electromagnetic magnetic waves, right? Okay. Everything. Uh, uh, everything in this room. Okay. Everything. Okay. Okay. Everything works off electromagnetic waves. Nigga. Yeah. Okay. So I broke it down. Okay. Yeah. Is that better? No, nah, I've broken this down for you. Before. So basically, what now, the copper does. Lower? What the copper does. It's like a, a frequency stabilizer, right? He said Basically, I right? Think, I think Tone said that. And it's not before. a stabilizer. It's a channeler. Those are two different things. Tell me about Mr. Keep Specific. Going, no, keep going. Mr. Keep Specific. Going. Like, keep going. really? Keep going. Really? Keep really? really? Keep really? 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 <laughs> that, that, first of all, she didn't say any of this. Was, this was all prior knowledge that I had. And you can't recognize a pitch. What are you talking about? <laughs> Nasty. Keep going. Nigga, I definitely can't. And this is why this, this is, is crazy. some real shit. But you see how the demons, like the closer it gets to him, the more angry it gets. I got to, I got to, come on, nigga. <laughs> Get out, Do something. nigga. Do Get something. out, nigga. Yeah, you don't want to jingle that in the mic. Fuck. It just sounds very prosthetic, but but, but you is, see how Lord, go to images of the stone. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, but hold on. Go to images of the stone, and then look at what Justin has in his dirty palms. Uh, his is not so bloody. It literally comes in all. Sh look, look at that one. Go up all the way to the right. Nah, it's literally that. Nah. It's literally that. Nah. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah, mm -hmm. you might have a... Uh, That's what I'm saying. You don't know where she sourced the materials Blood from. Stone. And, you know, you a have lot of no people... Hold idea. on. Hold on. Let you me want to know why I let can't take his opinion. A little, nah, this nigga's it. girl... And this is the problem. This nigga's girl last night said the going rate for copper is high as fuck. The fact that there's copper wrapped around it means it's fake. Your girl alluded to the fact that she knows the going rate for copper. 
Yeah, she didn't know the going rate for copper. That's actually <laughs> four. This is why. It's four dollars a pound. Is, and like, but, you, you trying to make an art, but that, the whole four point, the whole point but that doesn't that. mean that your copper this is, the whole is point. real. Why the fuck, why should I listen to you right now if that's what she said? Because you are just now embarking on this journey. I get it. You're new. You're a virgin to the game. You're still green. I can see it around your ears. Okay. But I'm telling you, right? <laughs> I've been there. I did that. I, I can tell the real from the deception, and you're being deceived, my brother. I just want to let you know. All you got to do is put it in your hand and just feel the weight of it. Feel the weight of it. You know how much Jesus' blood weighs? <laughs> he has no idea what you have no about. idea how much the how much how the much glucose of Christ weighs, nigga. How much the glucose of Christ yeah, weighs per gram? It's more than four dollars. Can we look up uh, what this stone symbolizes? No, that's yes. how you know he was swindled. Yes, for the most part. <sighs> protection. It is believed the bloodstone can provide protection against negative energy, and fuck niggas, attacks. aka <laughs> psychic attacks, emotional vampires, mm -hmm. uh, enhancing decision making. The bloodstone is said to enhance analytical thinking, facilitate logical decision making. It helps to weigh all options and choose the best course of action. Now, Lauren. You know uh -huh. how I know that this isn't real. Yeah. We almost jumped a nigga yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, Lord, what's, no. We almost <laughs> jumped a nigga yesterday. No. With his negative protection psychic Do you see? No. Let me talk. Let me talk. The audacity hey, that, that he even has the right to say jump. Like, I needed his help. That, that he didn't have to get out the car. <laughs> like, that I, makes like it I needed your help. You could have stayed in the car. Hey, man, it, did, it sound like it didn't protect you against negative energy or emotional vampires because that nigga definitely drained some emotions of you that made you want to do some things to him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whether we was going to fight him together or you was going to fight him solo, nigga, you had to fight somebody. But you see, you got to understand, right? I understand the way of options. I understand. The way of options? I understand the best course of action in the situation that's necessary. I understand. So the, why do you need the necklace if you already understand? What do you... If you could so already... Did, well, he's saying the necklace discern, enhances it. I'm saying that the uh, necklace enhances it. That's what he's trying to say. Context. I don't know. It sounds like it's, um, it sounds like it's manifesting it for you. Healing properties. I don't you know, know what I mean? like you need some healing yesterday. Yeah, nah. It sounded like you needed some therapy yesterday. Come well, on, man. Stern talking to. But hey, nigga, uh, you know... And everybody... Shout out to your little Arts and Crafts project. Yeah, Wait, yeah. Wait, so when, when did you buy that again? How long has it been? This has been, let's say, like a week. Like a week? So yeah. it was before his love arc? Or after his love arc. This okay. after. This after is along love. with the love oh, arc. Yeah. Okay. It's oh. along with his evolution. After it's weird because arc. he's getting conservative and liberal at the same time. It's kind of weird, weird, right? It's, a, it's, it's an a amazing. Little, yeah, it's a little weird. <laughs> You're an X-Man. Yeah, yeah, You're a an anomaly. Right? Oh, God, yeah. yeah. I'm, glad, I'm glad I wasn't tripping. I'm, I'm glad you I'm got glad some help. I'm, okay. I'm glad you got some help. It's okay, always so, a 3v1 to in be this fair, bitch. just because we let Jay go down like his path explaining everything, yeah, all this we do have to stress it was a collective clouding when Tone came in here with any sort of rock with or crystal with conversation. With and, I was, and I was a part of yeah. it, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It yeah. Was, yeah. I even sent this nigga Instagram reels of Organites. Playing. <laughs> like, mm. it, was pretty, mm. it was pretty consistent. So mm. the fact that you even, but you've done this amount of research is kind of crazy. Okay. He okay. spent 10 but, V bucks but on this shit. You gotta, <laughs> but, but you see, but this is how, this is how weird Tony, he, the only reason <laughs> he knows about Organite is because it's in another man's house. And like, and he barely even knows about that. You get what I'm saying? What are you talking about? Well, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. No, where, reach, which, I'm that, saying, yeah. you're reaching. I'm saying. Saying. You're reaching. You didn't get organite off about the street. You wasn't in front of the organite. I was in front of my mineral. I was in front of the mineral, and then I looked it up. <clears throat> it was a very but personal experience. Jay, you're having a hard time admitting the the, the hypo hypocrisy. There's no the self accountability. You're there, saying as a man, yeah, yeah. As a, as a, you got as a no. man that comes up here and preaches self accountability to the degree that you do. This is kind of crazy to see. You I'm need not, to say this right now. First of all, losing, it's nothing. You're losing your validity. You're nigga. losing yourself. You're a losing bit. yourself. It's nothing. You're a grifter. You're losing it's yourself. Nothing. A bit. You need to be. You, you need to admit you that hey, I, maybe I didn't know as much the first time. You know, maybe there's maybe making because fun of it too much. Is, the problem is you go so hard the opposite direction. It, to have you swing like this is insane. It's like who are who is this man? Jake. I, I actually want to go back and watch the other clips. I want to go for find nostalgia it, just reasons, to see. Right? And what just you're gonna to see, see how well these and age. what you're gonna see, and uh, what you're gonna see. It was like five 
Yeah, it was like five weeks ago. Weeks ago. It took no, look, five weeks. What you're gonna see is not me mad at the organite. But mad at the fact that he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. You remember that? That's true. I, real quick, That's real quick. That's the, there was literally a Not five true. minute like bit that we was watching a video. You yep, remember? I remember that. And we was just waiting for Tone to be like, so like, what does this mean? And Tone was just like, so that's where I was getting true. upset with. It's not true. You get what I mean? Yeah, okay. Because he brought like, that up as some shit that I had just watched. And I was like, I'm going to say this on the podcast. That was the premise to that whole topic. I never professed to be a professor yes, in this degree. But but I you know a lot more than you do. What? Obviously. Oh, all right, okay. And judging by the thing dangling on your chest, I know a lot more than you do. You're crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's Why pretty stop funny looking though. at it, demon? Uh, it feels like both of y'all kind of got into this within the last like three months, Loki. No, that's no, not true. No, it's not no. true. I've always he's look, got into this within the last three days. I've always known. That's why you can see his baby. I've legs. always known about the powers and the properties of the universe. Y'all, right? well, y'all have never preached it until more recently. He's never preached it. I, for, I've been consistent. I literally got, I literally got my necklace, and he's hating on it. You know what I mean? Like, I never had a necklace to talk about it on here. You feel me? Now I got one. So <laughs> now I got my mineral around my neck. That's so the now he every doesn't episode, even understand that he I have a new fact. But that's what the problem is. I'm going to have a new fact about Bloodstone every week. Well, you know, I hope Fuck. this changes you for the better, nigga. I hope you can uh, pick a philosophy and stick to it. It's definitely going to change you over time because it's going to exercise that demon out of you, nigga. We'll see what he's doing five <laughs> weeks from now. <laughs> Fuck that, Yeah, I want to I wanna continue to see what this arc is going to turn into. Yeah, see what he's playing with. Like, what's your full evolution? I want to see how this bloodstone like changes you, like how it makes you better. He's going to start set tripping. <laughs> Lauren has a white do-rag on. You need this shit, nigga. Goofy ass do-rag. That was not it's a good gray. joke. It was close. It's great. It, that's, that's, really that's, that's, that was for in here. Nigga, that was for me. The bloodstone is definitely yeah. not making you fun. It's nigga. not. No. <laughs> Take that shit off. Yeah. It's all right, man. You'll, you'll get back one day. I can't wait until I can't wait until this arc ends. That's gonna be funny. When you no, throw it away, yeah, and you say it's all bullshit. It away. Oh yeah. my god, when I he, can't wait. She's antichrist consciousness. When I throw it away, y'all yeah. want to see that the demons always want to see Christ fall. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck y'all niggas. Y'all want to fucking talk about my neck. Butt balls. That's not saying, know. bro. This Jake from the Bull. Changed. 360, oh, the spin off. But you see what happens. Like, I just got a cool neck that represents, you know what I mean, getting grounded in Christ. And you see, you see the people. This like, is what you, you did see to people, him. He was saying the you same see shit. People, this is what happens. This is what happens. I'm going to extend you the grace this is what that was that never extended to you. To you. Oh, so this is because why, I'm the bigger person. Intervention. <laughs> <laughs> this is, so why didn't you just tell me I hurt your feelings? About what? I would have apologized, buddy. My feelings would never hurt. The buddy, thing, I would apologize. The thing that disgusted me most. Tony, I would apologize. But no, but listen, because I even said that during that whole conversation back when the organ night was first presented. The thing that like bothered me the most was that deep down, I know that this is the nigga that he is. He is a bloodstone ass nigga. So the fact that he was going on the podcast and popping that whole shit like he's not playing with Christmas himself. I will say from nah, day one, you've I'm, always said he was a residential yogi. He's an in the closet guru. No, he I'm not. Say that. I'm not like a a mineral nigga, but I'm I'm in the cool shop. I'm in a lot of shit. Coming from a nigga with a, uh, yeah, you're right. You're not a mineral nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely not a mineral. Nigga. You're getting close, but you're not a mineral nigga yet. And I mean, it, this is what is supposed to happen. Like you're supposed <laughs> to, like when, when a nigga, when a nigga, when a nigga comes in, because when, when he first saw it, look, when he first saw it, I died. his first instinct was actually like, damn, that shit kind of cold. You know what I mean? Like, that is not like true. every nigga's that first is interpretation. Not it's like true. It's like, oh, I shit. laughed my ass off. That shit kind of cold. This is what happened. He called me. He told me the story about the African lady. So I'm, I'm putting two and two together. I'm like African lady. Stone. I'm like, no, this nigga didn't. <laughs> no, this nigga didn't. So it's taking a while for the picture to get sent. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Right. It finally come through. I click on that shit. I crack up immediately. It's exactly what I imagined. Mm. He don't feel it. He he mad because I talked shit about the organite. He didn't know nothing about. I'm just but mad that's that mine didn't saying. come with a fucking Hogwarts invitation like yours, nigga. <sighs> I swear to God, this, I'm a, this is you know what? This I'm is not lie to you. this, this is, is good. It's amazing, though, right? I'm gonna come in. Yeah, I'm gonna come in with a fat ass. I'm with a fat ass ring crystal, <laughs> just to make y'all niggas even matter, nigga. Okay, you are gonna fully clean out? When you know, I can't wait to see this. Yeah, Next thing you know, it's gonna be seashells in this braids. I'm looking forward. Yeah, nah, to all of this shit. It's gonna be amazing. Seashells but uh, braids. Let's get into but, some. What do you overall? Yeah, let's uh, 
it's a couple of different things that's happening this week. First of all, I hope y'all had a good week. Hoping y'all having a good week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a Wednesday. No, yeah. um, I know the first is coming up, so uh, hopefully y'all working overtime. Hopefully y'all yep, bills yep, are already yep. paid and shit. <laughs> yep, yep. You know, that's a very serious thing. Hopefully you're getting your stones and crystals appraised so that you can further ensure yeah, your orbit yeah, protected. Yeah, yeah, we moved on. Yeah, yeah. yeah nah, but, just um, making sure that everybody's, like I, you know, just paying overall, attention. Hoping y'all having a good week. <laughs> but uh, let's talk about, let's, it's kind of funny shit. So Biden, right, uh, he put out a memo basically saying uh, we have to watch our language in the Oval Office, mm-hmm. right? So if you click on the second uh, one under the misogynistic linguistics, mm-hmm. it's going to be a, oh, that's the second one? Yeah, the second one. The first one. Then. Oh, shit. Well, fuck it. We can read it, too. But click on the first one, too. My bad. Uh, so sure. basically, he sent out a memo. <clears throat> He's like, we got to watch our words. I don't think we should use, you know, phrases like, you know, uh, all brave men, uh, like gender specific uh, terms. You get what I mean? He's so, trying to be more tolerable, more sh- accepting of. Um, but men was speaking toward fellow man in that stage, like you know what I'm saying? Or even like, <clears throat> or even like, um, brave men and women, like human. You know what I mean? Exactly. Exactly. And it, it literally shows <laughs> uh, phrases. Like it's not his story; it's our story. Yeah. Mm, okay. Mm-hmm. In a memo to staff, he cautioned against using gendered language. The list of do not use phrases include manpower. You guys, ladies and gentlemen, mother, father, son, stepdaughter, and husband, wife. He just added stepdaughter. He also warned staff against pressuring coworkers to share their pronouns, which can include Z and Zer. In a memo to staff. You you say he didn't add uh, what? It sounded like he just added stepdaughter in there. I think that's just like. uh, like that's obvious like you know nothing nothing with daughter nothing that it's obviously that gender so we have to stop using daughter and so, son so a yo child yo like shit like that move to more like you know so what are the replacements for all of these words <laughs> the replacements are like the specific titles so instead of like all brave women and blah 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 it's like all all brave, like, Navy SEALs, you know, all uh, all uh, brave Army Reserve, you know what I mean? Shit like all that. All brave civilians. All brave civilians. All brave prostitutes. Okay. And, you, yeah, you see whores wasn't up there, nothing yeah. of that nature. But, you see, the thing with this is, is, like, their goal is to expand the amount of things we can call people that's acceptable. But all they're doing is suppressing what we used to call people. And this is the second one here. You want to play the second one, too? Uh, nah, it's not necessary. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's not necessary. But yeah. So uh, we can no longer call Lauren the white man. If we was in the Oval Office, yeah, we would get banished. The, so you can't say guy. You can't, yeah, no guy, no, guy, no, no pal, my guy. The white. No, you guys is you people. You people. Yeah. Or them <clears throat> over there. And it's, Them over there. You see, and it's like. So he, so one of his uh, secretaries or whatever, it's this dude. Uh, he was like, use gender neutral language whenever possible to show respect and avoid misunderstandings, right? So I've met women who were uh, who didn't like the you guys thing. What did they say? Like I learned that first in sociology class. That women don't like the whole you guys. You well, guys. My, my sociology teacher she was like, she was a woman, and she was like a person who was like, some people get offended by that by saying you guys when there's women in the room. Women just want to be like known and heard you know what i mean like when i be leaving the office at work i'd be like All right, y'all you know you guys be safe and like the bitches be like you know like uh what about us what about us i'm like oh, you know i'm saying like you girls too but like i even when i said you guys i just meant like you know all you guys i all wonder you, if it's like all this you people you other, humanoids other languages too because you know like in span in s- hispanic languages the way they speak it's like male words and female words, and like a lot of male words are used. There's no zim when we're talking about them, and we're talking about all of them. It, like mm-hmm. that's the the ver- the version of the word that's used. You know what I mean? Yeah. Why don't they have the same conversation? Yeah, uh, it's a little bit. I think it's kind of the same. Okay. Like is he her? Is she them? It's just in Spanish. You know, they just wrote yeah, yeah, all yeah, when they say it. Yeah. Instead, but, use staff like labor force, everyone, folks, you all, parent, child, spouse, partner. So it's just cutting out, like, all the, the shit that makes everything specific to, like, what you're talking about. It literally takes out all the context. Yeah, nah, this is not good. Yeah. It's nah. not good for the world. 
You combine this with the Apple Vision Pro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the other advancements that's going on, we're going to be in Wally. Like, this is what we're getting up for. You got to think, there, there's a limit to how well you can communicate with somebody. Ooh. You get with, what I'm saying? This, yeah. When you police language, yeah. we're restricting our ability to express certain things. Effective, oh, yeah, yeah. And the more that yeah. that happens, the less that we can say. So it's yeah. not even a question of, like, you don't have free speech. You got it. It's just not a lot of free options. Yeah. Yeah, it's not. A, and it's You can't call your father dad. You got to call him parent one. <laughs> well, even that's misogynistic. You mean parent two? Like, what do you mean parent one? Parent. Like, just parent. Because parent. Hey, you saying it's one, like you're putting him above, above the mother. Above the other, yeah. You paid your argument. Misogynistic. Yeah, nah. Fucking, yeah, nah. But uh, it's crazy, right? It's the same thing. But with, this, thank God, this is only you know in the Oval Office. It's nothing like it's nothing like our kids are gonna have to worry about. And shit, when Trump come through, all that shit's going out the case. If anything, they're going to install new rules. You like, hoping Trump come through? I'm not hoping come, Trump comes through, but I'm assuming there's gonna be a lot of niggas and bitches flying for Trump. Nah, just in the Oval Office, the way they speaking to each other. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, nah, it's just gonna be a lot more real. Yeah. It's going to be a lot more like how actual people speak, not this new wave of gender the shit. The staff at, like, the Oval Office is literally getting, like, a cold plunge and immediately into, like, a sauna, like, going from Joe Biden to John, to uh, Donald Trump. Because uh-huh. yeah. it's like, you know, like, oh, you can't say this, you can't say that. Then Donald Trump come in like, hey, what's up? Like, you know <laughs> what I mean? Like, just that's how he hand, That's how you shake his hand or something, like fucking Spider-Man. <laughs> it's crazy. crazy. <laughs> you probably always smell it right after. Yeah, that. yeah. How you doing, sir? That's mm-hmm. sick. But nah, it's a. They're probably. That sounds like a fun Oval Office, though. I don't know. You not gonna lie. Working in the White House is probably the most like nerve wracking shit to begin with. It's just probably like tedious and cumbersome. Like, you know. I don't know because. So yeah, there's a lot of positions. Well, in there. when I say working in the Oval positions. Office. You know, I mean, like working in the in the structure. I mean, the lowest level of that. He's talking about the lowest level of being in the structure. In the being in the structure. Yeah, yeah. If you the maintenance man, nigga, you deserve no respect. But that's probably the coolest occupation to have in Oval Office, though. And that's the thing about DC and all these like federal states is that like it's a bunch of stupid ass jobs, just because it's like they have to make something. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it's a bunch of people fake busy. I remember literally. I went to the. the National Muse- Museum of uh, D.C., whatever that yeah, shit called. Yeah, the, the, the Smithsonian. Yeah, it was a bunch of, like, just black bitches standing around not doing shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Being mm-hmm. fake busy, fake eyeballing niggas and shit. I'm like, what are y'all even doing? <laughs> bitches treating that shit like night at the museum. Yeah, bro. night at the Yeah. Ready for something to happen. Hoes asleep. But to fuck with a tablet. Yeah, nah. They got a lot of funding over there, though. That's what the president is. Is Yeah, literally. You feel me? So everything around there has to be well-funded. Yeah, for the most part. The libraries, the institutions, the Starbucks. He might fuck around doing the parents and pop in. That shit got to look good on CNN. Joe Biden has been doing, like, hella uh, restaurant appearances. Have y'all been seeing that? <clears throat> What's Personally, going on with that? What's going on with that? Mean, what y'all think going what on? What kind of restaurant appearances are? Is he going to, like, like cookout? Established restaurants? Or oh, yeah. like, you, like that? you remember when he came through, he uh, went to cookout. Yeah, got, he like, came here. He got black uh, a black family chicken nuggets and fries. Oh, you said yeah, that picture that took him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like that wind was whooping his ass in that picture. Yeah, for sure, that yeah, shit was nah. crazy. Yeah, it stops at a restaurant in Detroit, Michigan, Los Angeles, the restaurant. Now, granted, these are all <clears throat> restaurants that black people typically go to. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it, it's crazy. He's looking to find him in Aunt Jemima. And it's crazy because both candidates are doing like the same shit. You know what I mean? Trump got the sneakers. Get some niggas up in there. But nah, niggas that's fuck not with sneakers for black people. But the no, white but people are fucking with them well, shoes They well. are. They are. But The that's dude all. that we was about to fight probably had them shit pre-ordered. Nah, no. He fit the bill. Yeah, nah, he was nah, definitely. Nah. He fit the bill. He, he, he probably had on like those open-toed sketchers. Right? Who do you think empowered him to approach us like that? These sneakers, and you want more pairs of these on the streets? I don't know, dog. But look at this nigga, man. He's just shaking everybody. And it's he got crazy. a real old man look to him. He is gone. What? What that? Uh, what Wendy got? Whatever. Dimension. Whatever Wendy got. Mm-hmm. Nah, but he got a double dose of that shit mixed with a little like um, just overall incompetence. You know what I mean? Like mixed with uh Percocets, probably. Nah, if. Look at this nigga, bro. He's all airy and spacey. And he's I a feel like slow moving. He's man. at the point where 
He's performing this well of all the drugs possible. This is as best as he can yeah. do. Yeah. Just move at a you got to understand, his son handles crack and heroin. You might have to mark that. So imagine what his father can do. You know what I'm saying? What his father could do. What his father has done. Yeah, but and that's in the past. I mean, not everybody's LeBron James, nigga. I mean, yeah, You're not but, play to the end of the, but, uh, but it's obviously what he's done in the past. It's, it's, it's gotten him to this point. Look at him. He, he don't even know what's going on. Yeah, nah, but he's, he's probably living the best life in America he, right now. He's like AJ's dog. He probably got a little bit of cataracts. Exactly. <clears throat> brittle he bones. He doesn't even know Can't, how yeah. important he actually is. That's the thing. It's like at a certain age, it's like... What does a nigga's joints feel like? You know what I'm saying? Like Littles. waking up, nigga. Literally. Oh, come on. They're probably yeah, very squeaky, up. though. <laughs> you just but worried about is, this man's joints. I'm just saying in it general, is. like I hear like from old people that that shit get real different. Like mm -hmm. just at 30, my knee crack a little different. Like I can't imagine that nigga's age. I was about and to still say. still wanting to be the fucking president? Oh, my God. I was about to say. You know, his joints probably vibrate. Yeah, they don't even make noise no more. It's not enough, like, cartilage. Jesus. Nigga, literally, I, I woke up today. My knee was fucked up. I had to do some, like, uh, I forgot, like, one-legged holds. With some yogi mm -hmm. shit. I mean, it was like some one-legged holds. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, did you like the incest right before, or did you just get straight into it? Um, I don't know. I mean, usually it depends on the fucking <laughs> the day of the week. Mm -hmm. I mean, on Fridays, it's or like color yoga mat you use. Friday is a Friday. It's the you know first day of the weekend, mm -hmm. so you know I like to get a little bit more personal. Yeah, you know, get my favorite scented soap. Mm -hmm. A little perennial uh, sun into. I mean, how'd you know? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I figured. Wow. <laughs> Based on your trajectory, nigga. No, wow. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you can see the future. You might be a, you might be a yogi just, too. Just been getting his daily supply of <laughs> vitamin D. Said, perennial sunning. Whoa. Oh, perennial sunny. Hey, hey, you on the journey, nigga. I'm glad you finally worshiping the stars and the oh moons. Oh, my God. <sighs> I swear, he, he gets one thing, he's run with it. It's going to be a, Wait, nah, do a you, two weeks sabbatical of shitty jokes. Do you, have a, do you have a moon rock bitch in your life? Nah. Hmm. Hmm. It's a fine question, Lauren. <laughs> okay, okay. There's nothing influencing this. <laughs> yeah. Nah. There's no, uh, uh, ex, you know, just <laughs> out of stimuli. <laughs> yeah. What's going on over there, my boy? But no, look, there's Who nobody. You playing with? Look, this is. Uh oh. This is, look, this has nothing to do with anybody. That bloodstone got you. Bless you, yeah, nigga. I saw, yes, sir. I saw, I saw a beautiful woman who so was selling is... necklaces. Okay. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? That's all. Did you keep her contact? Yeah, I got a card. Ah, okay, so that's what's going on. I got a card. Just the card? Yeah. Yeah, just, no, if you, we can, like, see how she looks. It's not nothing like that, if that's okay. what you're alluding to. Okay, that's what I'm alluding to. Yeah. Oh, no, nah, uh, nah, no. Nigga, nah. you're trying to okay. achieve Christ consciousness. At that point, you, you got to be beyond the flesh. I mean, nigga, why are you making up? If it's my game, let me play my game. Like, why are you telling I'm me how to play sure my game? I'm just making sure that you're doing it honorably. Honorably? That you're on the right track. What are you doing? Where's right your, what, nigga, where's your fucking health and balance at, nigga? This shit in me, not on me, nigga. Yeah, yeah all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in everybody, but nigga. Put your little tools it's, and your it's, toys. It's in, it's in everybody, nigga. Put your little nigga. tools and your toys in, nigga. I got just double. in my blood. I got, I got double protection, nigga. Mm, I'm wearing yeah. two condoms, nigga. Congratulations, yeah. they right. cancel each other out. Yeah, no, yeah. no demons getting through this shit. All right, All right. say so. That's why y'all niggas hate, man. I said, well, not y'all, but this, you see what I'm it's saying? It's no hate. It's just funny. I just find it hilarious to complete 360, but then I forgot who I was dealing with. I might have to. So now it makes perfect sense. This is completely on brand. I might have to. Nobles. I might have to give y'all niggas a solo shot just so y'all can see, because you know, I know y'all. I know y'all probably curious, but you want to walk it up to the camera, man. I'm sure the people would love that. So take your time. I mean, yeah, go ahead. Walk it up to the camera. Let them know. Let me, let me show y'all, man. Let me <laughs> show y'all, man. This, this is what y'all deserve. Oh, man. I'm glad. Blessing. He's really proud of this. This is your moment, though. This is your moment to shine, deserve, my boy. Man. Yeah, God's watching. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh -huh. man. Express your beauty with the world. Express yeah, yourself. Huh? <laughs> This is insane. No, this yeah, is crazy. This is he's the only one. Yeah. This the, is insane. He's the only one who doesn't it's see not it. It's even crazier that he's the only one that's not aware of this. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. It's almost <laughs> like he doesn't know who he is. <laughs> yeah. Who I am. Like, what you mean? Like, nigga, it's a, it's, it's, oh, it's a mineral. Been? Who you But been? you see, this is, this is how he has a child's mind. You get what I'm saying? This is how childlike Tony's mind is. He's not, he, he's not even equipped to handle the, the information that it would take to process what the, what the fuck is going on here. You get what I mean? Like, the fact that... You got to understand. Nigga, go show the world the prize you got with your little fucking V-tokens, nigga. That antique shit. You Did didn't you even that buy that ago? with real money. You said that two minutes ago, Wait, nigga. V -tokens? Think about this. What do you mean, V-tokens? He didn't even buy this with real what if, money. What are, what are V-tokens? 
basically because my job was hosting the event, they gave oh, us like free money gotcha. towards the event. Gotcha. You get what I'm saying? Like shoot bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah literally. Something complete. <laughs> he bought a fabricated device with fabricated money. <laughs> and he thinks he's smart. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, okay. Let's see this, yeah, man. Yeah, looks good. I'll you know. see what we're working with, man. This is what I'm saying, man. This shit. Sorry to the viewers. <laughs> this is real, man. If your screen is just great. But you see, when he was talking about the organite, and he was like, you know, fucking like busting a nut to the organite, he, he didn't even have it in his hand. He, yeah. And plus, he didn't even know what the fuck he was talking about. Like this, I'm, I'm giving y'all the information. I told y'all about the frequencies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we get it, Justin. <laughs> God damn. <bro. laughs> nah, because Tone, you know. I'm Your chakras are charged. Nah, I'm going to help Tone and out. I get it. He's I'm just, a, he's I'm just help now tone trying out. to interpret how to use all this positive no, energy he has sources see, through him. I'm a help, I understand. I, I'm going to help Tone out because he loves to double down on. Uh, Don't let him touch you, nigga. You're going to get that little carpet shot. I do, I do appreciate, you know, I do appreciate the attempt at change. Even though it's egregious, even though it's, it's not disgusting. change, he's doing it very nasty. This is not change, you know. This whole for, nigga for the past, I eight, should say the, I for the past the, eight months, I've had this conquering. I, I just appreciate all my fucking hand. You're a little more open minded, I've, I guess. I've for you, the past on, eight Justin, months. This is beautiful. wait, no, listen. For the past eight months, I've had an onkering. Like what do y'all like? What is this? What is this whole spell onk? A n k h. Nigga, it, regardless though. <laughs> I just know how to spell shit ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I oh, you didn't even know how to spell it. Yeah, nah, and it's nah, Egyptian. Nah. And you got you got you're a confused nigga. <laughs> if you go into Tony's room, it's every religion possible. No, this isn't. nigga has hieroglyphics, um, um uh nigga crosses. You know what Wait, I mean? There's no crosses in my this room. This nigga has onks. It is a cross. There's no crosses in my room. It's crosses, nigga. I promise you, I live there. There's no crosses in my room. That's what I'm saying. What cross? It's on the, uh, it's near your TV, nigga. Uh, nah, there's definitely nothing across my room. I promise you that. It's, Damn, not, yo. it's, it's not your cross. I mean, it, I guess it's safe to say you're on a spiritual journey. He is. No, no, right he now. Is, right now, he, he just needs to accept it. No. He needs to stop pointing the finger at other people because we have nothing to do with this. Nah, that's okay, man. Clearly. Tony, okay. I, su I support man. you on your journey, brother. Yeah, nah, we're not going to make fun of you, nigga. I, like I told you, I'm going to extend the grace to you that was never given to me. I'm just a little further along in my journey, so I kind of understand, like you know, mm. the the uh, the the square mindset. Not square, just the the <laughs> normal <laughs> man's mindset. You get but it? you, the but Neanderthal. you see how. But this is what I'm saying. Like this is the funny thing, right? Like he's saying that, but when he was going to the crystal stores, he was window shopping, and that's this is the, this is what a this, is, twice. this is a this is a window shopper that you're hearing. Like when 50 Cent and like all these like Dame Dash, all these like when they was talking about how niggas be hating and how like niggas outside the club is hating on the niggas inside the club. Like this is this is what this is. No, he doesn't all. have a medallion around his neck. He's yet to invest. I've spent actual money. The, the nerves to call me a yeah. window <laughs> shopper nigga. I put in real money into this shit. Hmm. Prove it. I don't have to. Okay. This episode is a lot about for that. Yeah, just because you yeah. at, where you were a different you person. You mean minutes and where videos. you were a different person. Let's bring up. Can you bring up the uh, spaghetti eating Will Smith? Mm -hmm. I, I did want to bring this up because this is pretty. Uh, this is pretty ridiculous. Right, Two. So, is AI? Yeah, yeah. And uh, don't worry, guys. Uh, Tone Groove. He's gonna bring up this necklace again whenever, like a grenade, whenever he needs it. But and more breaking news. Have you seen this shit? Nah. <laughs> so it's basically it's open. Uh, Sora, right? You know, mm -hmm. the AI shit. Mm -hmm. we, I don't think we ever touched on it on the show. A little bit. I think we did. Give a, a quick little bit. overview Just to briefly. what that give, is yeah, exactly because I have a, a general understanding. Basically, it's chat GPT, but steroids. Video. Yeah, really. Oh, but, you, this is the shit to where you can put a movie prompt in and it'll make a movie. You, it can make okay, a movie. I heard movie. somebody talking about this recently. It's, I think on Flagrant too. Did you see that episode? Uh, no, but we talked about it on The Real. Yeah. We talked about it, yeah, very sparingly. And there was another version of this before it. It was terrible. Like, it was obviously like, yeah, fucking, mm -hmm. I don't know who made this AI of some, but mm -hmm. this is fucking crazy. Play. Whoever, so basically the prompt, oh, yeah, go ahead, go the ahead. prompt is spaghetti eating Will Smith. Uh -huh. And this is what it came up with. All right, let's see. Can the viewers see this? Yeah, they'll be And for the uh, listening and, viewership, uh, and real quick, Will Smith and a bunch of spaghetti. 
And yeah, yeah, we're going to describe it after it's done. But real quick, if you the type of nigga to get uh, queasy around, like, you know what I mean? Like weird videos, like this shit might, you know. Oh, shit. I'm telling you. Just put uh, it. Is this from one of your personal collections? Nah, nigga, it's, it's on yeah. Freak material. Let's see this. Um, take that music out. That sound is nasty. Yeah. This is like an acid trip. Yeah, it's definitely uh, a trip. Yeah, nah, this is, um, and for those for the listening viewers, it's literally Ooh. imagine Oh, this is a lot more gravity than I thought it was gonna be. This is it's, he's actually this is like a horror movie. It's literally spaghetti engulfing Will Smith. Will Smith. Just yeah. imagine Will Smith surrounded by entanglements. Literally. Nasty, devilish entanglements. Well, it's cartoonish. Ugh. This it's shit looks playing on loop. Yeah, now nah, this, this shit is, is uh, creepy. This is insane. But I bring this up to say, like, yeah, this is, is this crazy. For? Like, we could probably, like, once this gets, like, probably, like, near the end of the year, it's going to get to the point where, like, the average person can use this. Mm. Bro, we can literally, like, animate a show. Like, we could, oh, yeah. we could give this, we could give uh, yeah. this shit a prompt, like, yo, animate oh, yeah. this whole part of LOI or something. That oh, would yeah. be tight. That'd like, be do you, you understand the that capability? Like, this is what, th- this is why, I, this is the whole point why I brought this up. I kind of okay. forgot. But the capabilities and, like, what could be done with this mm. is unbelievable. Like, the nigga typed in spaghetti eating Will Smith, and it doesn't look too bad. So, is, is uh, Sora open for us to use already? I don't know. Or is it like I went on the website. beta phase or something? It's I a, got a few prompts that I want to put in already. Like, uh, Five Foot Eleven Lauren. <laughs> That was also a landing flat. Y'all are not that good today. <laughs> nah, five for the eleven, Lord, but with stupid bounce, that'd be fire. Oh, man, these are just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, you know, sometimes they don't land. Wait, fuck it. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't land all the time. Sorry, man, it's cool. But hey, you Muscular know, muscular tone. <laughs> but it is, yeah. Check to see though. But because I went to the website and I couldn't type in a prompt, like it wasn't um. And I didn't do it on my laptop. Hold on. There's no official release date yet, but you'll be updated when there is one. <laughs> so not, this is not out to the public, Clarence. Not yet. So that means, like, a nigga that works in the office did this. You know what I mean? Just sparingly. Yeah, like, throughout nah. the day. Like, he was just like, Well, oh, he was just testing this. out the capabilities, and, he, you know, he just put up his favorite black guy and his favorite meal. And this is what's... This is why... Like all those unions, mm-hmm. all those worker marches, uh, march, uh, marches that was happening in L.A. Yeah, and the writer strike and all that. This is why all that shit was so important. Because this shit is very powerful. Yeah, nah, I was watching uh, on Flagrant 2. They had this billionaire dude who's obsessed with, like, um, living forever. He wants to be the first person <laughs> oh, yeah, to solve, I didn't watch that episode the, solve the curse of death. I'm talking about that white in dude? The human yeah. condition. Yeah, it's a white dude. He's been, he's been trying to live forever for the last 15 years. So it sounds like it's working. But uh, he's literally the most measured man in the world. Most measured in what sense? Like, in the sense of, like, he knows the statistics for every organ in his body. Like, his liver might be the age of, like, a, like, just biolo- What's the word? Biologically speaking? Yeah. His liver's 30. Yeah. But his ears might be 62 years old. You get what I'm saying? Like, he knows all the stats to his body and shit. Mm-hmm. What's his name? I have no idea what is it. Uh, Google Kyle X, Y, and see what pop up. Kyle X, Y. That was a joke. But, uh, <laughs> Wait, what? why did you say it? It was a joke. But, uh, I just Google Flagrant 2. You. But, it's an episode on. on why, and what's up with, uh, it had to be the most recent. This guy, this guy right here. Bryce Johnson. Brian yeah. Johnson. Brian Johnson, yeah. Yeah, Google this lad. He's, he's a creepy looking dude. He looks like he's been tampered with severely. Yeah, nah, he's had every, like, prosthetic. You know what I mean? Liposuction. Like, this is... And l- you see the left from the right? You right can here? tell he's a different person. Yeah. Talking about this right here? No, no that's... those are that's, two different dudes, but that is That's him. him and his son. But, like, if you go down... Mm-hmm. Uh, where is that fucking... That mediocre white dude? Uh, there we go. The nigga on the left. Yep. You see that complete change he did? This is him? Yeah. Yep. This is him now. After all the vitamins. So, him and, um, on the right. Is now. Yeah. He looks like... Him on the left before. He looks like a robot that's trying to play a human. He does. He does. Yeah. You get he what does. I'm saying? Because he lives his life according to AI. Like... Yeah. He looks like AI. He looks an, like what AI would look like if AI the, the, had a human form. Literally, because he is AI. He has an algorithm. So instead of making his own conscious decisions with his brain, 
He has a program that tells him when to eat, yeah. when does, to wake up, really? what it's to put on, everything about who to be with, like what relationships to have. All that shit is a complete program. Trying to live for a long time, it takes a lot of work. Yeah. And it's like he's doing that. Like he, I, I watched like a couple of different videos like of him in the past because his son, like he's trying to put his son on the same shit and even mm -hmm. his uh, father. Mm -hmm. Like it's a whole lineage like they're trying to do. Like, mm -hmm. Oh, I thought These that was in his middle. Be here forever. Yeah. yeah, them three right there. That's the trio. That must have been before they started. Yeah, that's and like before they, the regiment. Look, look at his neck. Like you could tell the real him is under it. Like you see where his face almost looks like it comes off. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Am I right? No, the nigga in the middle. Oh, but it right worked right for that nigga too. It worked for that his father too. Uh -huh. Put his name in on YouTube and see if he has like it, there's like a quick video of this nigga explaining this shit. Yeah, it, it has to be. Because he spent a lot of money. He said he considers himself a uh, a no death athlete. Hmm. Because a lot of people, they're like, what's the point in spending millions of dollars on your body? And he's like, nigga, you wouldn't say that shit to LeBron James. So fuck it. Said I he, do sports. <clears throat> said he's playing the long game. His game is to not die. Right. It's an anti-aging thing. Huh. Let's fuck with it. Even look at the way he sits. He sits like very aerodynamically. Yeah, proper like, posture. His hips are perfectly hinged into that seat. Literally. Hmm. Play. Right now is the very first time in human history where you can say with a straight face, you may not die. You believe that? Oh, there's, there's no question. It's hard to believe tech millionaire Brian Johnson is 46 years old. But no matter his chronological age, he's striving for the biological age of an 18-year-old. His team of 30 doctors utilize all the latest tech. The plan is rigorous. It's actually really hard. <laughs> yeah, it is. And it burns really fast. At $2 million a year, a life like this is out of reach for almost everyone. And this is what I take on a daily basis of supplements. It's alphabetized, and we have a year supply of everything we do. It's part of his quest to live forever, Wait, which he believes yeah. we have a year supply of everything we do. It's That's all he takes on a daily basis, he says? Uh, I think... Everything on the left-hand side, I'm hoping. Let's, let's and, hear that again. I take on a daily basis of supplements. It's alphabetized, and we have a year supply of everything we do. It alphabetized, nigga. That's Did y'all hear that? Crazy. Alphabetized. <laughs> and he has a year, he has a whole yearly supply of this shit. That's wild. And that's just what he chose to keep at his home. Yeah. Right. We don't know if there's a storage facility somewhere full of penicillin this and This nigga steroids. looks like he's coming out of the avatar machine. You get what I'm saying? And, like, the thing mm -hmm. is... Is is this the origin story of a hero or a villain? That's uh, what but that's the whole point I've been trying to get villain. at with all of these advances. This could be very dangerous. How so? Because he might think that he's the new Adam. Mm. You know what I mean? He probably looked like the him. next step in human in human, human evolution. evolution. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cause if he's the first person to not die and successfully merge with AI, he's a guy right now. So compared to us, so he's at he Google way faster than you. <laughs> Is that all he can do? No, nah, but I'm just I'm just going through it. Like he doesn't even have to know more than you, but he can appear to know more than you. Just because he has all the information in his head. OK, wait, what? He doesn't actually <laughs> have to know, like, how many miles are in the state of Georgia, but he can Google that in his head and say it in like point five seconds to the point where it's like he kind of knew that shit already. Oh, you think he, you think he chipped he's up? He's just going to be so much faster than everybody else. So if he's Adam, yay is Jesus, who's God? You with that bloodstone. <laughs> I'm glad you called me. I'm glad you referred to me as God. <laughs> yeah, nigga. Nigga. Nigga, very heavenly, Kim. <laughs> but this is, uh, this is a, a Lex Luthor origin story. Yeah. That I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious. But There's the something. thing is... But he's, he's not... He doesn't have, like, what's required to do anything too bad. Mm -hmm. And I wonder what he's going to do if, like, trans age becomes a real thing. Like, there's a real strong push and movement for, like, hey, I want to identify as whatever age I want to identify as. They have that already. Yeah, but it's not. Plastic surgery. It's not a, well, yeah, but yeah. you still can't legally identify as 17 even though them titties are new. You get what I'm okay, saying? Okay. But once it gets to the point where it's like there's real legislation where they're actually trying to make that happen, yeah. if he's got like 15-year-old nuts and like a 20-year-old heart, what does he identify as? He has a choice. 
Why would he go back that far? Yeah. Depends on, I, I don't know. Depends on what fish he's trying to catch. Yeah. <laughs> 15. <laughs> 15 year old. Any nigga that's trying to live forever is weird. So I can, yeah. uh, you know, I can only imagine. I would hope not. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, nah. <laughs> but he said that's the goal. Like yeah, he wants yeah. to get his penis to an 18 year old level. He said that. Yeah, literally in the flagrant two interview. But, wow. because but what's he was crazy? Like, what? Go ahead. Now I was about to say what's ironic. All them pills he's taking is probably making it worse. Suppressing his libido. He, he can't even, like, it shouldn't take that much. But I don't know. I think 45, he should be as horny as possible. I just read somewhere no, that you 45. get horny. Like, once you hit that, you know, it starts at 30, of course, but 40, 50, 60. But that's, it's not the same as your 18-year-old erections, nigga. It's nowhere near. It's a different level. And you that's don't even what, get more than wood at 45. Uh, How can you say I heard that? that shit dies. There's, I think you probably there's a point yes, you in time do. where it you slows down, do. though. Yes, you. There's a point in time where it slows Tony, down. Tony, how are you saying? Why are you issues. saying that? Ah, uh, because I've studied. Gay. I've studied this. I'm trying to get my dick back to 19. Nigga, you 24. You need to drink some yeah. milk. Yeah. <laughs> nah, that's no agent, nigga. See, you don't know about uh, no, mucus you in need the body. To drink some, that's you, how I know you early on you in the journey. You need to drink journey. some orange juice, nigga. Huh? Yeah, orange juice. They ain't gonna do but, that. But, uh, nah, man, this guy this guy is different, man. And I hope you got to think about what he's Do you want him to succeed? That's the question I wanted to ask you, niggas. Do you want him to, like, really, like, actually accomplish his goal? His goal of like anti aging and like anti aging and, and not to, dying and being able to solve that for humanity. No, because certain people need to die. And if everybody has Nehemiah? access to that, I'm just saying, like, I'm thinking about like dictators, power, <laughs> power structure. Mm -hmm. The super rich, the filthy rich, they get their hands on this. It's a structure that's going to be there for a long time, mm -hmm. hard to overthrow. Have you seen, uh, it gets really far. You know what I'm saying? Have y'all seen of shit. Um, that show? It's called Altered, Altered Carbon. Yep. It's on uh, Netflix. That. Shout out to. Um, Anthony Mackie. Anthony Mackie and that one white dude. That one white it's dude, a wonderful yeah. show, but basically yeah, yeah. it's literally that. So in this universe, the super rich are able to like not die because their consciousness, their consciousness can transfer to like another body, another body. that yeah. they like just grown in the, in a fucking lab. Mm. And like, it, you know, it was a whole like I'm not gonna spoil the series. It was a good series, but yeah, that is a real. It's that's what uh, that's what end up happening, right? Because the, the, who's gonna have access to it first? It's inevitable, right? Yeah, it's going to be the rich and the powerful, and they're going to uh -huh. play with it. To now, if, if you had access powerful. to it first, are you doing it? Are you going to say, you know, fuck it, I'm a privileged group. Let me go ahead and jump in the game. Nah, life's not that good. I might I might would want to live one. One extra life one cycle. One other life. Yeah, okay. From maybe, from maybe like 25. Okay. Like, so my new body is going to be like around 25. That's okay. what I'm saying. Well, I mean, if you're going to do it, I'm going to ball it out. I'm going to start off at 13 again. Wait, and why? in the 13? same body. Or in a different body. Some of all these young numbers, yeah, nigga. what's up, bro? Nah, because I just want to <laughs> <laughs> try to go to the NBA again. <laughs> <laughs> try to well, go back to the league. Well, let's preface I'm trying to go to the league. Yeah, 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 to yeah, go yeah. to the league. So that's I feel really. like 13 well, is the best age to like, all right, let me start taking this shit serious. Okay, okay, okay. Why don't you just Christ. go to like the Euro League or something? Yeah, that's what, what I'm saying. Yeah, just like be a new body and like you're an older man. Over there, like, you know I mean, y'all didn't give all the fucking rules. I, we were just choosing age. I know we was going back in time. There's no rules to hypothetical, nigga. Yeah, do what you want, my nigga. I was shit. Clearly, here. you just want to be young again. This nigga wants to be Crazy young. Crazy young. And I'm like, yeah, bro. You want 15 year old nuts and 13 year old body. That's crazy. Yeah, he wants to be in that? the locker room and shit. You said that. What's wrong with that? Yo, that is kind of crazy. That's crazy. What's wrong with that? <laughs> 15 year old nuts. <laughs> y'all thinking about my nuts, huh? though. That's even with it. Forever young. Oh, yeah, 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 forever yeah. young. Yeah. If y'all yeah, niggas nah. was athletic, you might not understand, but you know. Yeah, right. I had potential. Okay. At 13? I had a 13 to go back to. What was y'all doing at 13? Being better than you at whatever the fuck you're doing. I was about to say, I mean. That, that sounds like you're overcompensating. <laughs> <laughs> whatever the fuck I'm that, doing. That's just a obviously that I'm, not a growing. You think you could do that? I can do better. Yeah. <laughs> That's just a statement that I'm actually better than you. You know, mm. most things, so. Well, them waves is weak, so. Oh, they're not here yet, so I'll give you that. Keep it dead. They're not here yet, I'll give you that. <laughs> why, 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 you know he's insecure about his ways. Why are you joking about his ways? Because he came for me, so I'm going to come for the puddles on his head. Don't talk about his ways. That's a good shot. That's a little, nice little mini little ripples. You know, you know what, what I mean? I know you're insecure about your bloodstone, I mean, but I don't talk about you. I'm not, ins I'm not insecure about my bloodstone. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. It's okay. I'm very proud of it. So but you are insecure about your past. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, you you denying it strongly. No. I understand why. I wouldn't want to go back to that shit either. No, nah, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, PlayStation and orange juice. Literally. And nah. speaking of going back to the past, what is this uh cereal for dinner? Kellogg CEO is happy more families are under pressure. 
Yeah, so basically, right, uh, it's, you know, it's a shortage on money, uh, allegedly, in households all throughout America. Just so the average median income? I can tell you that that's true. So, exactly, yeah. exactly. That electric bill getting um, nasty for a lot of people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. It's getting sick. Nigga, yeah. it's gusting. <laughs> yeah, a gust of air costs a couple hundred dollars. Oh Might just start stripping. Oh, oh my, my God, God. bro. <laughs> mm. Flirted with a lot of ideas this month. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> Tell me about it. But uh, nah, man. So the CEO of Kellogg's, he was just saying how, like, you know, I know this is, it seems bad. It seems bad, but this is a good time for America. Because more people can eat center, uh, cereal, you know, during dinner time. And he was basically, he brought up the fact, like, you know, you could buy some cereal and some bananas, have some cereal and some bananas for less than, like, $2. Yo, this is just reminding me of something. Bladers. All right, guys. This nigga, is, is, this nigga is happy. He's that family, families are under pressure. More. Category has always been quite affordable, and it tends to be a great destination when consumers are under pressure. So... Some of the things that we're doing is first messaging. We got to reach the consumer where they are. So we're advertising about cereal for dinner. If you think about the cost of cereal for a family versus what they might otherwise do, that's going to be much more affordable. I'm all for innovation and marketing, but the idea of having cereal for dinner, um, is there the potential for that to land the wrong way? Uh, we don't think so. In fact, it's landing really well right now, Carl. When we look at all of our data, of course, we would know that breakfast cereal is the number one choice for in-home consumption. We understand that for breakfast. It turns out that over 25% of our consumption is outside the breakfast occasion. A lot of it's at dinner, and that, that occasion continues to grow, as well as the snacking occasion. But um, cereal for dinner is something that is, is probably more on trend now, and we would expect to continue as that consumer is under pressure. I <laughs> Yo, this that nigga is, said it like it's such a great thing. This is what happens, right? He's aesthetic. Well, as you, he should be as a businessman. Oh, this is the. Oh, yeah, play this. Was this a commercial? Oh, Looks that way. Something, something along those lines. Let me uh, run it back from the jump. <clears throat> Will you say dinner? Cereal. Oh, no. Dinner! Cereal! Dinner! When I say cereal, you oh. say dinner. Okay. Cereal. A little quick dinner! one. A little jab, a little jab. Dinner! So this okay. is. <laughs> when and, I say cereal, you <laughs> say dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's what I'm saying. Like, he's confusing the option. Like, niggas eat cereal during dinner time as an option. Like, as a on the back end, like, man, I, I'm not trying to make nothing, but I'm also not, I'm hungry enough. I could probably, I, I don't have the money to really go ahead and invest in this. I could truly. pour like two bowls, you know what I mean? I can make it work. This uh, is some dystopian future type of shit where, like, it's a wasteland and niggas is now resorting to eating cereal. Like, just little giblets and nutrients. You know what I'm saying? You like, that's I mean? all you can do. And like, that's the new got, ration and type you know shit. And you know what's so dishonest about that ad? Is that that was a two-parent household. That was a two-story home, very spacious, and these niggas is eating cereal, cereal for dinner. Yeah. Uh -huh. They're not even advertising to people who actually eat cereal for dinner. Uh -huh. Like, show, show the real shit. Show what it's yeah. really like. Where were the syrup sandwiches? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't see any fried bologna in the vicinity. Yeah. It's not cool, bro. It's not the real struggle. If you're going to do it, do it real. Do but it right. Y'all also Black like people. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Show the real struggle. But, but y'all expected but, him to know about. people have been upset if it was just a bunch of like nabby headed, like, you know. <laughs> hooligans? <laughs> Crank tops ripped and shit. Did it? That'd be yeah. crazy. In the middle of Section 8. They'd have to be white people. Yeah, that's a. To make we it go for well, but yeah. But, um. What the fuck is it? We gonna talk about it. I was so confused. He said it to me. He said it to me. Oh, okay. But um, nah, man, cereal for dinner. Like, of course, it had to happen when I was young a couple times. But it's like, how many people are they gonna kill doing that? Probably, maybe not many. I mean, this and the worst part about it, I don't. It's how we really gonna be fighting over the cereal. It's not the fact. The cereal isn't the problem. It's like, what type of milk are you drinking too? Because if you're drinking whole milk every night, I mean, I feel like that's fucking terrible. I feel like niggas is really setting us up for the downfall of like the power structure. It's like, nigga, this is what you're gonna have to be doing. This is what I'm telling you. you think, <laughs> but like, this is yeah. this is what I've been preaching on LOI for the past couple of episodes. I know we got a couple. Uh, I don't know what you want to call it, futurist in uh -huh, the studio. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You know, some people who are ready to merge with AI and you know all those things, and you know that's cool for them. But I will go off the grid if shit gets too wicked. Yeah, I'll live stream from a tent. <laughs> on a GoPro, it won't be live. Yeah, it won't be. You won't be off the grid. It won't be yeah, live. And be I'll probably the be the only ones watching. Fuck. <laughs> this that good hey, that's crazy. I'm gonna be off the grid with my phone. I don't know. Do, do, you, do you know how to live off the land? No. Uh, I can figure it out. 
You think you can figure it out? I can no. figure it out. All right. Yeah. He don't, he don't, you can figure it out. I don't know. What do you mean figure, figure it out? I can figure you it out. You wouldn't know what plants to go outside that's edible right now. If you were to fucking walk through a little bit. All you got to do is smell it and taste it a what's, little bit. And if it's sour, it's probably poisonous. What's like the like okay. the number if one? If it's sweet, it's probably a treat. What's you like, get what I'm saying? That's basic jungle principles. What's the number? Like, yeah, what is like the one principle to like surviving in like the wilderness? Ah, uh, shelter. Shelter I'm, is paramount. I mean, more specifically, like the nature of the land, like how like you're supposed to stay away from like bright ass colors, like shit like that. Like, do you know any... You know uh, what I mean? Don't touch anything that makes you itch. Or, or, or like, <laughs> wait, <this>. what? <laughs> I, I, don't touch anything that I'll makes you, you itch. I'll give you, no, or like, still water. You're not uh -huh. supposed to go near uh -huh. still water because still not water means to be like. In still water. Yeah, I said that to you a couple, maybe today? What the fuck? And you <laughs> read it on a fortune <laughs> page. Nigga, what are you talking day, about? Right? I said that to you yeah, today. Yeah. But yeah, because of the bacteria, that is serious. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a lot of bacteria see, in see, still water. But jungle you don't. Yeah, so what? what's some more? Uh, I know how to light a fire. I can light a fire. You can light a fire. I can probably light a fire. Light a fire or start a fire? Start a fire. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. With, 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 light a with, fire. with what? Start a fire. With start a fire materials, nigga. What you mean? Wait, no. What are the materials? Uh, I need some asphalt. What does that even Wait. mean? <laughs> <laughs> I need some asphalt. <laughs> asphalt. <laughs> nigga. Do you know what asphalt, asphalt is? Is asphalt dry. flammable? Asphalt no. isn't even flammable. No. no. What do you mean? Nah. Nah. Is that that's not even a conductor of heat? Nah. It's not a conductor of heat. I just need asphalt so I can have something to sit on and be comfortable while I'm lighting this fire. See, you I've gotta started to fire with rocks before. I don't even believe that. I have. Just give you Jamaican. It has to be a resources. certain type of rocks. Yeah, it's a long time ago. It has to be it's like be smooth. Asphalt. It was a long time ago though, but I have done that before. But we live in 2024 now. They literally have like the craziest like survival tools, like mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. sticks of like I don't want to mispronounce it, but like char. Like, you take a piece off of it, it's highly flammable. Like, that shit up, that shit burns forever. Long story short, I think that's where all this shit is headed. Where niggas gonna have cereal on the go in the wilderness, because that's all you can eat. But if that's the case, Hunger Games. is niggas gonna live... <laughs> how, how is niggas gonna live forever off of cereal? You're not. That's the problem. All this shit is gonna <laughs> fall apart. That's, that's what we're trying to say, is that this is not a good idea. What do you Both think Brian Johnson would think about just eating Kellogg's all day? I wonder what he probably has the nutritional facts based on that. He probably doesn't eat. It, it probably gets like. You see, the thing in is, them. if you, nah, if you, realistically, if you did eat cereal for three meals a day, your cholesterol would probably be through the roof. It'd yeah. Be fucked up. Yeah. You'd have blood stones in your arteries for real. Nigga, literally. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah Especially if you're drinking nasty ass whole milk every time. Like, yeah, just putting mucus in your body. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, you putting mm -hmm. that cow milk in your yeah, nah, body. Cereal. You can't be 45 years old drinking cow milk and getting more than wood. That doesn't happen. It depends, though. I don't almond know. milk only, nigga. I mean, yeah. Definitely almond milk. Almond, almond milk, milk, milk for sure. Cool. Almond milk is cool. Mm -hmm. I don't know the other type of milks, though. But, um, Lord, can you go to that video I did send? Because yeah, I got you. that commercial, that advertisement reminded me of like a wonderful, um, a wonderful, uh, shit, wonderful display of marketing I've seen. <laughs> Why? So, <laughs> what is this? Uh, so, there's a mattress place in Houston. And they're advertising directly to the demographic. Lauren, can we uh, get a play on this? Oh, yeah, I got you. I got to um, switch the thing real quick. <clears throat> and I just had to get some. It's some 90-year-old. It's Warren Buffett wearing a purple bandana. It's our next president. <laughs> get chopped and screwed by a competitor who said they were going to hook it up, then went ghost when it was time for your delivery. Here at Gallery Furniture, you know, we stay knocking on doors like MC and Little Kiki. And you know when you cop from Gallery Furniture, in four hours or less, our delivery team is going to show up and show out because we don't <laughs> do it for the clout. This is what Gallery Furniture and we are all about. We can't leave you riding dirty on that hand-me-down sofa. We nope. need you to shine so clean with that new new from Gallery Furniture. Text me, Mattress Mac, your triple the OG mattress Mac, nigga. from the north side at 281-844-1963. I'm, gonna be honest. I'm uh, gonna plug you in with $600 off your purchase of 2000 or more. I'm gonna be honest. Mattress Mac, I pro I probably wouldn't eat food on that nigga mattress. I don't trust that nigga. Why not? You from the north him. side. North side. 
No. Triple OG. I don't know. Yeah, nah, nigga. I don't know, dog. He's very pimping. He's way more pimping. I mean, he said you could come cop if you need it. This nigga said he went more pimping. $600 off your purchase at $2,000, nigga. He would never leave you riding dirty. Nah, fuck that. That match just probably got something in it. This shit a little different. There's some different oh, marketing. No, I don't I even. Like, I don't like, like this mark. What type? I love. I just want the mattress now. Like I, I feel like I could slam a bitch down in that shit like a Cadillac door. I mean, yeah, but it, it it's still stupid. And it, why? Like, who is he? I understand who he's marketing to, but like, why? Who told him this? Nigga, his and then mattress you could tell, store is on the north side. And you could tell he's reading this off of a fucking like piece of paper. Some he's, commercials work. No, 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 no. But for fucking big conglomerates, but for independents, like independent, like you know what I mean, companies, nigga, it's it's, they it's have supposed a to be it's supposed to be a little bit more authentic. Which it and is. And he's reading it off. When you think of big, have you ever went to go buy a mattress and they went ghost? I'm like, sir, like, do you know it? But do you think a big conglomerate would ever do anything like this? I think that's the point. Yeah, because it's stupid. Nah, nigga, he's a. I guarantee you, sales have been up. Sales I can went promise up. Promise you, nigga. You think so? Yeah, nah. There was some people choosing up on this. It's a good advertisement right here. You don't. Okay. You wouldn't buy a mattress in front of this nigga. Wait, look him up. Probably he not. Says, this nigga says Honestly. um, he's done more for the people of Houston than your favorite uh, pastor. Look him up. He's val- He's valid. Can you look up mattress Mac? Mm. Yeah, I can. Uh check him out. And I, I hope somebody in the I hope this goofy step, nigga. This good brother. I hope this goofy nigga doesn't think just because black people have. You know, a soft place to lay their head on because he's oh, seventy three years it's old. That nigga, American businessman. You've seen this guy Forbes. before. I've seen him before. We're, in what like so, what context? Uh, so you see that picture of him with the uh, baseball? It's right here. Yeah. Uh yeah. In the uh, baseball hat, it's something with that. I think uh he made a big ass bet, and he ended up winning, and it was like all over uh, Twitter the Mississippi for a couple Native. Days. Uh, Go to his website. Okay. Let's see about it. Mattressmac.com. Damn, is it gonna go? My fault. Yeah, it's taking. No, nah, you good, but it's just ah. taking a second. No, nah, it's, it's oh, just this bootleg ass website. I don't know. The mattresses look legitimate, nigga. Bro, this website look like some Alibaba shit. Why does it look like this? Gallery furniture. Mm-hmm. Where's the Where's the mattress? I don't really understand how you can like the Trump shoes and not like these mattresses. How so? It's the same stick. It's not the same it's stick. the same angle. It's not the same angle. Think about it deeply. It's not the same angle. Who are they really appealing to? It's not the same to angle. what means. <laughs> this nigga just pulled up a fifth and Trump made a Jordan. You see, you're the average consumer. First of all, like, you're going to get a lot more done with the shoes than you are with this fucking mattress. And this, crazy? and this mattress is probably shitty. What's a better You're investment? You're going to sleep on a mattress every day. Lord, I was say, what's a better investment? New yeah. shoes or a new mattress coming from a responsible uh, modern mattress. Name? I don't trust his mattress. I don't like the marketing. I don't like being, like, don't try to. Pander? Yeah, pander it's, to you? It's, it's pandering, but it's also. What if he thought it was funny? What it, if this is just didn't, complete satire? It didn't feel satire? authentic? What if no. He, what if he's really from the hood? I don't he think can't any, be. The, the, no, no, no. Every, every, every white dude that's from the hood in Texas, Paul Wall. Yep. Name another one. They they're almost like synonymous with niggas. This guy from the hood like I he's mean, old. Once I you get old anybody, things change, man. And the thing is nobody change. nobody's professing that he's from the hood or that he's truly like this. I just think it was funny. It's a funny idea. Old white dude. I don't know, but what is this? See, this is what he does, nigga. He's obviously a market but, wizard. But that's is, that's yeah. a little bit you see more. What I'm saying, but that's, at least like that's elaborate right there. That shit look good money. He's in the middle of a floor Let's around get some a bunch of. This. He's selling mattresses with basketballs somehow. He's in the Man, middle of the court on a mattress. It's loud in here, man. Oh. You can't hear this. I was sleeping so good on this gallery furniture and peak mattress. I didn't know I was interrupting practice here. <laughs> Hey, y'all ready for a real baller? I got next. You can't hang with us, man. You can't, you can't, you can't hang Stay with over there, Max. Cordell, I'm not trying to embarrass you. Check call. Cool. Can't score on me, Max. All day long, I'm scoring. <laughs> oh, you are tripping, bro. You are fucking. You reach, I teach. I've been hooping twice as long as you've been alive. Oh. Oh. Hey. Hey. When 
the Curvis Quiet, all of Houston Unite. Text me, Mattress Mac, 281-844-1963, and I'll hook you up with a $600 slam dunk of discount off a of purchase of $2,000 more. We'll see you at the next game as the Cougars play at the Fertitta Center. So you would buy a random necklace from a gypsy woman you just met, but you wouldn't buy a mattress from this guy? Yeah, I can't believe you disrespected a black woman by calling her a gypsy and bigging up a white dude. But, I mean, overall... That was a better commercial. That, Like I said, that was way better. And was did it seem panderish? No. Does it, he, it, 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 does he it seem seemed, like a basketball it player? Seemed, it seemed like there was a, a more organic goal. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was more fun. Yeah. Which is what I like. Hey, That's what I like to see. Hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? I think his approach is satire and parody. And I see the funny. I see where he's coming from. Look, I, I'm not saying I Shout don't. Shout out Mattress Mech. I'm not you saying I don't. You can only hope to be this cool when you get to 73. No. Yeah. Still active like this? Still active like what? You ain't hooping with niggas named Cordell when you're 73, Justin. I, nigga. Ligament's going to be too loud. You want to be around a nigga <laughs> named Cordell when you're 73? What the fuck is you saying? Get back to what the are youth. you saying? Get back to the youth. What's you wrong wanna, with that? They're the future. I'm the past. You want to be around fucking. Hey, nigga. You want to be around Tyrone and fucking. <laughs> I got to get back to the youth. I got to bestow this wisdom that I had. Man, you're going to be. This life I've lived. You're going to break a leg. Nah. Literally. I'm going to be coaching. I don't got to get up. You can coach in a wheelchair. And shit, by that time, 73, nigga, we merged with AI. You're going to be good to go. I might be in the NBA. Who knows? You and these NBA. Nigga, those NBA dreams are gone. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you, man. Them shits is done. Slow up. <sighs> Slow up so that. done. Yeah. yeah. You, got you niggas could have never gone to sleep and had them anyway. Very though, so over. I guess y'all are the best to tell, right? Very guess, over. Yeah. We never cared about it. You did. So never it hurt, cared yeah, about it. Yeah, it hurts you, not us. So don't even try to do that. It doesn't know? hurt me. That and I'm we, not and we could have gone. We could have gone. Like everybody in this room, I'm pretty. Like we're not like genetically uh, stupid. Oh, yeah. AJ, I was going to bring this up. I saw this earlier. I was going to bring this up. I'm going to bring it up for him. I saw a video on YouTube about it earlier and everything. Oh, about Chase what? Chase put one up. Oh, uh, we'll bring it up now. See, we're talking about it. Cam Newton. What happened? Oh, the Cam Newton? The Cam Newton shit. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Cam Newton. Yeah, we were talking about that on the way. We talking about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't see it? I just mm -hmm. put it in there as soon as I saw it. Oh, well, this is the best point. Mm -hmm. uh, well, real quick, we'll get back to uh, Ego Battle. But <laughs> overall, uh, so Cam, NC legend, if y'all don't know, NC State, NC legend, shout out Cam. This nigga allegedly got jumped. We was in the car. You was like 15, 16-year-olds? Uh, yeah, allegedly. Teenagers. That's what they look like. I'm not right, saying right, that that's right. what it was, yeah. but they did look like children. And the first two, you know, they wasn't really, you know, it just played a video. I'll let Cam defend himself. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus you know, Christ. Literally. He's very good at doing it. Yeah. <laughs> literally let him defend himself. All right. I got you. Okay. Can you just play it one more time on mute? Yeah, just, yeah, uh, just sure, one more version. Sure, sure, sure. Just have it looping. Uh -huh. <laughs> so what I see is Cam trying to stiff arm both these niggas. He dragged him. Really? Yeah, really just like, get y'all little He was okay until the third dude came in. And the third dude caught him. He kind of discombobulated but he the wasn't, whole situation. He wasn't trying to, f he he wasn't trying him, to fuck him up. Yeah. He was trying to teach him a lesson. Correct, correct. That dude didn't hurt him or nothing, though. Yeah. yeah. None of them hurt him, but he disrupted. Because he was, he was low-key handling them two niggas. They he was. Been he right. was. The one nigga was getting drugged around. And other, yeah, that dude. Yeah, and right he had the other nigga in the grip. Yeah, yeah, in the yeah, yeah, in his yeah, grip. yeah. He had both of them. He had both yeah. of them in a chokehold. He call, actually had that one had nigga. One of them in a chokehold. One of them was subdued. He had him subdued. And then he was really handling the other dude. The third one, he was dragging him around while subduing the other nigga. Yeah. Yeah, nah. This nigga might be Luke Cage. The nigga that came. Oh, is that what he was doing? Oh, okay. You talking about the dude in the gray that just flew through? Yeah. And not. Didn't that look like it was hiding? I thought he was going for Cam. He might have got. He might have got clipped. It looked like he was trying to punch the nigga that Cam was like helping Cam. That's what it looked like. This nigga Cam is a what do you call it? A game changer. This nigga is a game changer. He's changing all the rules, but this nigga. This would never happen to Charleston White. I think that was at Cam. Hold on. Yeah, because Charleston White would have shot two 16-year-olds. <laughs> so with David Lucas. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, you know, nah, so I don't man. care for holding his own because you know, um, <laughs> and it's just a bunch of people around. Hey, hey, yeah, literally. Like that's what hey, that's what's so funny about. Do this. Do we have any information on what caused this? Like why? Not exactly. Why is this happening? This is supposed to be a friendly game of football, correct? Um, can't tell who's going. For yeah, it. I don't even know. Can you uh, just scroll down to the comments? Yeah. See what my finds. Cam got to be more careful, man. He's putting himself in bad situation. He needs to stay out the limelight and chill. <laughs> He was breaking up a fight. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Don't try to tarnish a good man's name for clicks. Okay. His hat didn't move. Oh, so he grabbed both. He probably had both the niggas who was fighting, and he probably had one of them and had the other dude. Oh, that's yo, probably AJ. What it was. You might have been right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. probably what it was. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense then. <laughs> yeah, they couldn't do shit with Cam. That nigga's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that nigga was trying to. He How must have been the homie of one of his homies. With your superpowers. What you mean? Being who? Uh, you and Cam. You being Cam. Shit, man. I, I mean, it's at least he tried to do his job. Like, you I, think that's a correct approach? For sure. Trying to break up a fight? Yeah, for sure. Well, he was trying to break up a fight? Yeah, that's was, what they say. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah, he was trying to break up a fight. Uh, people keep talking about um, the fact that his hat stayed on the whole time. Yeah, that was impressive. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Yeah, He's yeah, probably yeah. a fitted. Yeah. But doesn't his, he cuts holes in his hats to where his hair can breathe. <laughs> so it's almost like a. The suction process. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I yeah. didn't know he actually does that. Yeah, yeah. He. Hey. Okay. It's Cam Newton. Shout out Cam. Shout yeah, out uh, Carolina still, Connect. Yeah, too. still can't take him down. You can play offense and defense. I mean, yeah. yeah he, was, he was trucking niggas trying to tackle him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was a quarterback. <laughs> those are 300 pound niggas. Have y'all seen those highlights? I've Come seen. On, man. I, I've seen like enough of them. But I wasn't like you know really that. You're not. You're not. I don't care about nigga. football enough to appreciate him truly. I definitely understand like you know, you know, Cam Newton was Cam Newton though. Yeah, I've heard the name before. Yeah. Nigga, rings bells. It rings bells. Rings nigga, bells. heard the Sip name your coffee, nigga. What are you talking about? Rings bells. It's Sip Cam Newton, nigga. Worry about your own it's mouth, Cam nigga. Cam Newton, nigga. You know about Cam Newton? That's NC State. Yeah, but I don't watch football, so it's just you know. They were cool. They weren't doing nothing. Shout out this to him, man. Yeah, they're not doing boop, nothing boop, to this nigga. Boop, boop. He gonna take at least one down with him. Got to. Oh no, he did it. Not on that one. Dragged him down. He tried to. And still had the ball. Man, that nigga came ready for this game. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> How good is he at throwing the ball? Uh, uh, he was okay. Is he, I was I say, heard, is he up there with the most nah, accurate No, he was, he was really good. He, was, really he good. just wanted them athletic QBs that can run really He was nice. athletic, but he was actually good at throwing the ball as well. He, mm. had a long, like, he had a long arm. I heard he was like a more like like Michael Vick-ish. Yeah, he had he, just he was, a little he bit was of a better accuracy. He was a scrambler. QB yeah. sneaking in shit. He was a scrambler, but he also had a powerful, you know. Yeah. He was the most accurate, but he can get it downfield if he needed to. Yeah. That's what's most important. Well, did you ever play football for real? Yeah, I did. For what a position bit. did you play? Cornerback. I was on defense. Yeah, yeah, Cornerback. yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I was on defense. So I was hitting niggas. How well did you fare? You was, you know. I fared pretty well, but I only played my senior year, and I I quit after a while. That was. You start? Yeah. No, I ain't start because it's my first year. Mm. I got in the game though, so okay. I felt I felt pretty good about that. Like getting in the game, like first year playing football <laughs> for the. What I mean by that is like oh, I'm hey. talking about like first quarter, second quarter. Yeah, because you know there's forty saying? people on the team. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of people. It's a lot of people on the team, and to be not one of the niggas that the coaches like, or like you know what I'm saying? I wasn't here from ninth grade, tenth, yeah. eleventh. You don't I have came that senior year exactly, and I jumped in the game. So was, do they feed cool. all forty of you niggas? What do you mean, like with playtime? No, nah, like in terms of like uh, after games, before games, the snacks and all that shit, the Gatorade. They feeding all forty of y'all? Not exactly. It was for high school, just right? The people who play. Yeah. You talking about just feeding you like food? Like, cause you know when like high school sports, like the teams be having. Yeah, meals. like yeah, yeah. You have like team meals and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you get they it. They feed yeah. all forty of you niggas. Yeah, oh, like, like, when, like when when those things happen, but that's not always the case. Like, I feel you know, like football like, got to trim it down. Usually, you go to, his parents, right? Yeah, because like, yeah, because because you go to practice yeah. and shit like that, and then like you go home. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm yeah. not eating it after practice. It depends like, on I, what school though. Like some schools, like but wait, you were talking about high school, right? Yeah, I'm talking about high school. Yeah, you talking about high school. Yeah, no, I'm talking about high school. They do that in high school. There's some high school. Nigga, not in Texas. No, I'm not even talking about Texas. It's just like how big the sports program is. That's a real Shit. thing that happens, though. Kids getting taken care of. Yeah. Very yeah. well. But for, I mean, football is fun, though. Football is fun. Like I don't that. know. It looked kind of back breaking. Football. Is that a highlight reel of zero points for Jordan Poole? Yeah, he has a bunch of those things going on. Jesus. That's, yeah. just, that's just foul, though. That's rude at that point. 
Well, yeah, nah, Knicks is hating on him, right? Mm-hmm. So. Nah, so. zero points. That's that's fucking crazy. Yeah. So. <laughs> Nigga needs some help. And Everybody cr- needs some help. It's a highlight life. reel of misses. It's got to be. Like, oh, he yeah. might have would have had 24 points if he, like, actually made some of these shots. Maybe straight turnovers. Yeah, nah, literally. Yeah, 24 minutes. Mm-hmm. Getting booed at home. Damn. Two weeks ago. Yeah, nah. But speaking yeah. of getting booed at home. That would make... Don't want to talk about Trump. Uh, no, I just sent you a video to your DM. Play that shit. All right, 10 Give me one second. I forgot that my dog could potentially be getting trafficked right now. I think you, uh... I think you just kind of gave up on it inside, and that's why you just thought about it now. Nah, it's just like I like I realize <laughs> there's nothing I can do about it. It's been, it's been nah, it's, it's been killing them, killing them softly the whole time. Like, and, yeah. Realistically, though, uh, those type of dogs are smart. She shouldn't have gone to work though. Yeah, nah, she ain't gonna work. I wish she would have put the dog in the house. That would have been fucking amazing. Oh yeah, <laughs> but uh, AJ showed us this earlier. Donald Trump's back in the world with saying things. Go back up so I can read this headline. Um, black people, or Donald Trump says the black people like him because he's been discriminated against in the legal system. So essentially, since he's been treated like a nigga, uh-huh. he feels like he gets nigga acceptance. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Now, hey, uh, let's see what he has to say. All right. He probably said it a little bit. I mean. Second time and a third time and a fourth time. Oh, I saw that. And a lot of people said that that's why the black people like me, because they have been hurt so badly and discriminated against. And they actually viewed me as I'm being discriminated against. It's, it's been pretty amazing. But it And then I got oh indicted God. a second time and a third time and you a know, fourth time. It's unfortunate, right? Because it's And a like, lot of people said well, that I think that's I'm why the black accident. people like me, because they have been hurt so badly and discriminated against. And they actually viewed me as I'm being discriminated against. It's, it's been pretty amazing, but it... Yeah. Oh, no, he kind of just his head right there with that last that one. It. He was like, they actually think I'm being discriminated against. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Laughs at it. The well, marketing. It, it's, almost, it's almost like a, when Candace was still around him. <clears throat> that's the type of shit she was probably dropping in his ear. Like, nah, Trump. Like, this is how She's the like, black... No, you're this kind how of the, a nigga, too. This is how the black people view you. Yeah, yeah. You're you like know, the he, white Nick Mill. Hell yeah, and that's he dry, he got he dry, he has his own shoe line. He shits on bitches. Uh, he's been in he a lot of music money. videos, grabbing pussy. You can't beat the nigga. He's making a black case. He's, he, yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. He's every young adolescent's dream. Yeah, now when you think about it, like he is oh, just minus the guns because he's not shooting niggas and all that. But for all intents and purposes, he is kind of like a GTA Online character. He's everything. Especially now with all these goddamn updates. Have you played that shit recently? No. Now, I've seen a nigga playing it recently. It's like, it's not even the same game. Oh. Like, you can be, a, yeah, you can yeah. own the casino and shit now. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Uh, with the um, career updates. Yeah. Yeah, I, oh, yeah, it's I It's just a bunch of Donald one. Trump's running around on that motherfucker. Yeah. No I, suits. I had played that shit. I think I chose the gun runner. Yeah, I chose the gun runner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This was the other thing he said earlier that uh, AJ showed us. You say he's back out there? Let's see this. this. It's your boy right here. He delivers remarks. This is Good. Jay's boy. These lights are so bright in my eyes that I can't see too many people out there. But uh, I can only see the black ones. I can't see any white ones, you see? That's how far I've come. That's how far I've come. That's a long, that's a long way, isn't it? Uh, we've come a long way together. Lynn Patton. Good. Play, play it again. <laughs> These lights are so bright in my eyes that I can't see too many people out there. But uh, I can only see the black ones. I can't see any white ones, you see. That's how far I've come. That's how far I've come. That's a long, that's a long way. Wait, it? pause it. Do you feel noticed? How does that even? <laughs> how does that even? If that, if, <laughs> even if that is possible, wouldn't you technically see the white people first? You have to. They're bright because of the lights. Be, if you have bright lights, it will wash it out. Guys, no, 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 you no, see no. The dark figures. Or maybe since, but the dark figures no, could this, be whites. But that's what, that's what I was about to say. The lights are so bright, everybody's black, and it's uh-huh. a metaphor yeah, exactly. for uh-huh. the economy. Because everybody's yeah. poor. Niggas is eating cereal for dinner. Uh-huh. White families. Uh-huh. We're all niggas when the light is brightest. Are you... So 
When are you? I'm about to shoot. You about to vote early, huh? <laughs> I'm, yeah, shoes, you about to vote. <laughs> I'm sold. <laughs> he got me. Nigga just sold himself. I feel noticed finally. Hey, that's why he's a good businessman. Yeah, nah. You know what I mean? And have you gotten your ninja shoes in the mail yet? And are you, you planning on wearing those to the pod, correct? Yeah, yeah, nah. I haven't got them yet. Yeah, I haven't got my pods. They say you're going to be clicking around like a stripper. What? How? Who? The yeah. noise that it makes. Like, I saw this one dude, he was running. <laughs> and it sounded like he was galloping. Sound like he was galloping. Yeah, they're not really stealthy, even though they look very sleek. I think he got some fake shit. I think it's rubber on the bottom. The nigga said it's like running around barefoot, <laughs> but like not in a good way. You know what I mean? This nigga running around, nigga. I'm about to be walking in my pods, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not running in my pods. With hot coals, nigga. Hell no, nah, nigga. You see, the nigga, don't worry about it, nigga. You gonna see him when I get my pods, nigga. We can't and you're shits. not gonna put them on, nigga. I'm worried about your spending habits. Hell you buying nah. a bunch of bullshit recently. Worry about me, nigga. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah. But You're supposed to buy a bunch of goofy shit, though. Like, how, you bought a bunch of goofy shit when you was, uh, when probably you was younger, too. Yeah, for sure. And what, well, what is goofy shit? Like, just off the top of your head. Like, like ninja shoes. Don't think about it. Goofy shit? Uh, bought a sword one time. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that qualifies. You bought a sword? Nigga? Yeah, but I wanted, sword? I wanted it for, like, decoration. But, but, also, it, but also, once I took it, once I got it, like, I, I fucking... Took a watermelon and threw that bitch up to see if I could cut that bitch in half. Fruit like, ninja. Was it, yeah, uh, was it a ninja shit? sword yeah. or was it a wizard sword? Nah, What's, what wizard? What is a wizard sword? Like a, like a Game of Thrones ass, like from that one shot. Wait, nah, that's a ninja sword. <laughs> yeah, 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 bronze nah. sword, yeah. Nah, that's a ninja I still got them. I, still, I actually put them up in my studio now. So and it's actually, like an actual. They're up there as a, a, like decoration. It's an actual sword, like how much yeah. they cost? Uh, they weren't very expensive. So they're not that expensive. Like, can you balance it? Can yeah, you balance cheap. it on? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can balance it. Okay, so yeah, it's some, like it's it's made okay, well. It's okay. made well. It's like legit. It's okay. just not sharp. It's dull as fuck. Yeah, you can go to the state fair and get them. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that's where I got it. For how much? They're cheap, bro. Yeah, they're cheap. See, that's how the coronavirus got spread. Yeah. Hmm. Ah shit. <laughs> and then I also bought like a. The, Are you sure they're the, stainless steel? Yeah. Yeah, mm, right. that's the thing I got to do. I got to sharpen my my shit's dull as hell. I couldn't do anything, but but like at the same time, you why hurt nobody? With like that who shit. you want to be? It's belated? just decoration, it, but it looks it looks good in my studio. That's cool. I bet yeah, I bet sure. Yeah, it's decoration. And now, nah, but if somebody was trying to invade your home and they do <laughs> I would pistol go, and a sword, I would go for my gun first. <laughs> yeah, gun that's first, what I would do. But assuming that they, they had nothing on them, if you bring out that sword that is kind of cold and you know what to do with it. That's the thing. If you know what to do with it, like yeah, you would yeah. have to know what to do with a sword. But the thing is, and he don't can't... know. He don't know if you know what to do with it. All you got to do there is get your stance right. If you can get your stance right, he might just freak out. You are you trying to get him shot? <laughs> what are you talking about? Nigga? He's gonna get shot. I'm trying to help that. him protect his jewelry. I'm not going to no sort of blunt object if somebody gets in my house. That's I what have I'm a saying. gun. I will pull that out first, for you, sure. You Ooh. give the sword to your girl. Some nights, I think I have, like, I mean, I, have, I keep my shit in the safe mostly, but there's a lot of nights where, like, I just feel the energy around, and I'm like, let's go ahead and put one in the head, put it by the, the nightstand, and let's just go to sleep like that. <laughs> hey, well, Lauren checking under his bed. But I have, I live in my own movie. This nigga, <laughs> I think somebody coming for me. Let me put one. I told you I've cleared. I told you I've in the chamber. I told you I've done that before. I told you I've cleared one? my house before. Why just one in the chamber? You, you aim you at that. You only game? have one in the chamber. What are you talking about? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, what? what do you mean? <laughs> that was Is there yeah. a Bible on your dashboard too, nigga? Like, nah, you I'll fucking... do it like that. I'll do it like that. But I, I've had definitely, I've had nights where I'm just like, I just didn't like how the day was going, and I was like, I'm just gonna make sure I'm safe tonight. Was like, that for somebody else or for you, nigga? Somebody else. Okay, hopefully. <laughs> huh? <Bro. laughs> like what? Hey. <laughs> I had oh, a hard no, day. no, 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 or hanging themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so sad. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They got a whole forest for it. Yo, yeah. They got a real dramatic you see that? culture. <sighs> Lowest in the world. Niggas be happy. That's what I... Because I'm like, Jamaica. bro, I've never heard of like... We're among the lowest in the world. Yeah. 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 Jamaican. No, Jamaicans. Yeah, Jamaicans. So, in summary, the suicide rates between 1.8 and 2.7... 
uh, among the lowest in the world. The world. That's pretty beautiful, man. Yeah. Uh, I wonder uh, what uh, what do you would say attributes. There's nothing to niggas jump is off happy, bro. The lifestyle. Nah, is, they got they got machetes happy. over there, so that's what I'm saying. Like, it, <laughs> but it's niggas, something attributing. But niggas understand. Niggas are happier with like little. Like they don't have the most. They don't need the most to be happy. Like here, niggas have stupid. And you want to know what I think it like, is? You know what I mean? You want to know what I think it is? Weed is so cheap to where it's like <laughs> you can be poor and still have a lot of weed. But it's bad weed. But but it's all they know. It's bad weed. Nah, though. No, 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 no. Not all of it. And it's not, not all of it. Bad. I get with bad, bad weed. weed. Nah, it's not. It's not all of it. And it's not nah. bad. But there's there's there's, 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 there's a. Wait, actually, Cali's different. Cali's different for sure. Yeah, is the weed bad? It's worse than not the, all of it. There's, no, it just you like, are better off just, than no, weed no, no, in no. America. Just like anywhere, look, though. Just like anywhere, you can go to a place. You can go to places course, and get the good shit. That's sure. all I'm saying. But uh, no, but that hash Bob Marley was smoking. Right? That hash Bob yeah. Marley was smoking. That shit was ass. That's but what I'm saying. The shit they smoking now, it's probably it's, it's good. better. But everything's better now. You think? You think Jamaica is only selling mid? Nah, I think that there's a lot of mid out there. No, not only. I more. think mid is more acceptable out there. That's what it is. Over on a, here, on a regular consumption so, level, probably. We so yeah. we fetishize everything to where it's like we need the extreme version of this shit. Like he said, the island, like they're okay with what we have. So this mid weed is mid weed, but like you know, I could not have mid weed. I don't grateful. even think. I don't know if it's that bad. Of gone. I think. Um, I think it mainly has to deal with climate. I think that's a big determinant factor because in. Uh, Areas like Seattle, where it's like gloomy all the time, the suicide rates are through the roof. Same with like uh, I thought you were talking about the weed production. Same with um, yeah. Alaska, like anywhere where there's like I think like gloomier climates, it's a lot harder to be happy because the weather's not helping you. Like yeah. the overall climate is not helping. But if you're on an island, whether it's good or bad, it's at least a, at least the, the weather's not bringing here. you down too. The sun is up. It's so yeah, many things to look forward to. It's so many different things, and it's a culture of ass shaking. Which brings a whole nother different <laughs> like level of excitement and just uh -huh. like readiness. You know what I mean? I think climate does play into it, like you saying, but I don't want to put it only on that because I mean. Yeah, I would put it niggas, more so on the ass he was talking about. That that helps well, a lot. No, it's all encompassing. Because you even said even uh, Lauren was like Jamaicans might have the most beautiful women in the world on average. That was a topic on here before. Yeah, yeah. So weather, weed, women. Mm. There's a lot of things to live for. You'll think twice, maybe even three times. And that's enough to prevent you from doing it. And then, you know what I mean? It's like the life in Jamaica is probably cool, right? It's, it's a bunch of tourists. Like if you're poor, you are, you already have a job. Just go sell like some shells you found on you're the beach. You're just talking about tourist areas, though. You're talking about resorts. And stuff. But I'm there's also, a whole lot of I'm also talking about more country than the resorts. The, okay. you know, that side of the town, too. You know, I mean, it, it, life, life is regular like life here. Like there's going to be. "Quote unquote classes." There's gonna be people with better jobs, people with not so good jobs. Yeah, you know what I'm saying it's, it's gonna be like that. But you're gonna find uh, amongst the people primarily that community is important. You know what I'm saying? Um, people still like from when I was there, at least you know people still raised each other's children type shit. Exactly. In community, it was more camaraderie. Not, not in the sense of like I'm actually raising them, but like I'll smack like them to be coming me crazy. I'm 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 watching the kids like we all watching the kids we all respect the kids we all respect the women for the most part that type of shit you yeah. know what i'm saying you see if i was jamaican my dog there's like being real, locked out the house would not be your problem there's like more that. nah there's more prince there's a lot there's It'd a lot of eaten. there's a lot of problem. principles is that like, true long y'all eat dogs no there's a lot of principles in jamaica it's like fine. you know what i'm saying we we core with principled natured shit and like good human shit like that's that's a core that's what I'm thing saying. my dog would saying. be okay in jamaica don't get it wrong you no. still get fucked up out there just because of Crime and shit like that. AKA That's still your dog going, eating. Somebody wants to you know be the captain. For the most part, you're gonna find really good people in It's Jamaica. not Jamaican, that's Somalia. Yeah. That's why you want like Jamaican women to take care of your kids and shit like that, right? Jamaican older women like they Wait, who said that? I want Jamaican women. Like to as take a care like as a nanny. Like you would want a Caribbean woman. You know what yeah, I'm yeah, that, that is a shit. that is a sentiment. Yeah. That is sentiment. around. Yeah, that's a sentiment. Nah. That is around. I think I would choose Because they're gonna tell you like it is on a real level, but they doing it out of love. And they, yeah. But you can get yeah. that with like a, a Mexican or even an Asian. Very, too. very principled people. Or what's the what's the one the nanny? She was British, right? She, no, she was from Boston. The nanny was Google it. The she was from, was from Boston. Boston, like in the show. And you know who I'm talking about, right? Yeah, the nanny. No, not the nanny on uh, Nickelodeon. I'm talking about that show 
where mm-hmm. like they would have a badass mm-hmm. kid and that British lady would come in and babysit and try to get them straightened out. Flushing New York. You remember that shit? Hmm. I, it's a vague memory. I feel like I know what you're talking about, though. It's not. It's not Something called the, the, the. No, name. it's not the nanny. This is a real. It's not a, a scripted sitcom. It's a. It's a reality oh. TV show. Hmm. That's no, Fran Dresser. I know, I know yeah, that. That's Fran. Yeah. Ah, Google British nanny. TV show. You remember that bitch? That. Super nanny. Nah, she looked like Miss Trenchbull a little bit, but a better version. Yo, that first picture, it looked like she's about to, yeah, uh, teach me a lesson for sure. Yeah, nah, she used to go in there and get this kid straightened out because a lot of them, <laughs> a lot of them little niggas was running their household. And I was even in Lowe's the other day and I was listening in to one of those situations. It was like, uh, okay. uh, so apparently, just based on the, from what I've heard, I guess in context, she kind of prepared this nigga for the store. She was like, all right, when we get in there, white family, right? Uh, white mother, white son, and his name is probably Carson or Kyle or something. With Cody. A Cody, yeah, literally. So apparently she had prepared this nigga in the store to like, hey, you know, I need you to be on your best behavior. Like none of that rah, rah, rah shit. So we get in the store and he's just like, he's just completely abusing her. He loud him not because he touching shit. He knocking shit over. She's like, Carson, what did I tell you? He was like, I'm going to put you in timeout. I was like, oh. Jesus yeah. Christ. I was like, <laughs> yeah. This little nigga's got some pants in this motherfucking damn Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, God yeah. damn, nigga. You say he must have 15 year old nuts. You're running this shit, like, <laughs> bitch. Seven you years old. Me as a mother right now. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. His yeah. organs are older than he is. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's crazy. Yeah, nah. He need him a super nanny. Somebody come in and lay down that fucking law. That nigga need a, uh, a, a general, uh, a sergeant. Nah, he probably needs like a big brother named Jerome. That'll probably really get him. Why he gotta be black? Yeah, right. Because, you know, it's just like, it's kind of good to get a different perspective. What the fuck? You know what I mean? And nobody's cooler than a big dude named Jerome. Look, man, I'm tired of all these hypotheticals of niggas saving white people. What's wrong with that? You got to be the bigger person eventually, nigga. You got to extend the grace that wasn't extended to us. That's life. A couple more days with that bloodstone in my register with you, nigga. I got faith in you, though. (laughs) Christ consciousness is loading. This nigga Tony. (laughs) <laughs> this nigga Tony would be. Mm-hmm. Have y'all seen that MGK tattoo? He's kind of going on the opposite journey of you. Like the closer the guy you're getting, he's getting closer to whatever, whoever was about to get head when Lil Nas X got down that pole. That's the wrong link, but that's also kind of crazy. The fuck do you send? Uh, it was a torture device from back in the day, but that was just a little grenade. <laughs> <laughs> they used that's to. Wild. Well, I mean, since we're talking about it. A uh, quick little history lesson, right? In medieval times, if you were convicted of some type of um, SA, the punishment was we're going to put a cage over your pelvis and put a rat in there, a hungry rat. Yo, that's, I've heard it. Yo, yeah. you, y'all, there was a scene in Batman where they put a rat yep. in a bucket and they heated it up. Heated it up. So yep. it's only so one way for the rat to get to out. Go. Yep. It's crazy. It starts burying through you. Mm. Yeah. Ugh. Jesus Christ. It's crazy. Yeah, it's yeah, rough nah. shit, man. Rats yeah, are always, true. yeah. Shout out to rats. Yeah, now shout out to rats. They really good at giving up nuts. Yeah. Apparently. And even that, yeah. like that, dr- ah, fuck the word. Dramatization. Yeah. Y'all be yeah. fucking that up. That's it, not, it's it's the not right. only one that always gets niggas. Dramatization, yeah, nigga. I think you fucked it up. But regardless, okay, this reenactment. Yeah, why don't we just say reenactment? It's, so it's dramatization. Easy. Yeah, nah, don't, saying it faster isn't saying it right. Ain't no L in that bitch. I Dramatization, yeah. Drama, oh, what? Go again. Dramatization. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let your comrade say it first. And nigga, what you mean? You fucking interrupted you. me, yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Pay attention to your elders, nigga. <laughs> nigga, but goddamn, it's not an L in it. That was insane. What was we talking about right before this, though? MGK tattoo? Yeah. Yeah, Pull the that MGK every day, yeah. Because... Uh, you don't have a link in here for it. Ah, oh, shit. Exactly. Oh, my God. Yeah, let's just Google Fuck. it. Fuck. Come on, Jamie. What do you have to say about this? Uh, I just want to compare and contrast y'all's two journeys. <laughs> just as opposed to bitches. You get what I'm saying? Because it's like... This shit is ridiculous. You see how crazy this is? This is a real thing that's happening. Did he go to sleep for this to happen, or was he awake for all this? He was probably on the most Miley and Percocet known. What does that even say right there? Locals Locals only. only. Locals only. Hmm. And he has a homeless dude with a sign on his... his, Does uh, does he say anywhere what the... uh, The meaning? Yeah. I think we can interpret the meeting right here. What do you think? I'm thinking Gimp. 
<laughs> this looks like this looks this looks like ultimate gift. It looks like he never wants to take the leather suit off, so he just got it tattooed on his body. Mm. What do you think, Jay? Yeah, man. I don't know. This nigga, he's definitely very horny. You could tell. Like even this photo shoot. Like why? You could tell. Like why this as a fucking like as a outing as your first picture. You know what I mean? Like all like gloomy lights is dark and shit. What? A, what but what could you tell about it? <laughs> well, yeah, what could you tell about it? How did you know? <laughs> like what did you see exactly? Yeah. Or did your stone start yeah, vibrating? What, and then you well, just, what exactly you just was it? You felt the negative oh energy. What, like what exactly was it? time you brought up my stone. I'm just wondering. You're so I'm much funnier wondering. than that. I'm just wondering. But uh, overall, man. <laughs> yeah, nice, nice slide out of there. Yeah, uh, yeah, he thinks he's slick. Jesus, eight Jesus. times. Fuck. But... Uh, he, uh, yeah, still here. Jesus. But I don't know what's going on with this nigga. I don't know. I saw this a couple weeks ago. I, isn't he still with that white woman? Her name is Megan Fox. Yeah, shout out to Megan Fox. I saw a picture of that bitch. That bitch looked like she got hit in the face with like, nigga, 18 dodgeballs consecutively. Like, she looked fucked up. He had a breakdown and tatted entire body except one line. He raps on a new track. Except one line. Yeah, nah, he's gonna regret this when he's a grandfather. Is, but you these, know, there's a this lot is of the, uh, these the, are the bars. Lately, my thoughts been eating me alive. Laid in my bed, thinking maybe that the hate finally go away if I'm not alive. That's at the beginning, while the track is playing piano. Then he said this next part. Wish I didn't listen, just like I wish they would understand me one time. I had a breakdown and tattered my entire entire body, except one line. Everything's just fine. A lot of breakthroughs going on in the um, in the world today, and this yeah. is why I'm glad people are evolving, and doing what they do. You know, um, <laughs> and I like how it says uh, MGK 33 continues. <laughs> like, <laughs> like even they think it's a little childish. Yeah. Like, nigga, but they're 33. Serious at the yeah, same I'm, time. I'm the same age as a nigga. I would never. Oh. Yeah, are you going through a similar crisis? Not quite. You trying to find yourself as well, Lauren? Trying to find my. No, don't worry about it. But you see. <laughs> Yeah, what? Yeah, no, nah, I don't even want to know what that is. <laughs> trying to find some riches, that's all. Money. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, trying to find you know, some money. Yeah. You start eating cereal for dinner. Cere cereal for dinner, brother. But you trying to pull up these wild wives? I got them pulled up. I'm, I'm, I'm about to say we got a couple of wild wives. Just... Yeah, there's a few of them things. A few of them things. All right. I'm about to say, which one you want to read first? Just start reading one. Uh -huh. I got you right here. You can pull up. Whoa. Wow. All right, uh, Christopher Thomas 6586, hashtag YLOY. What's y'all stance on fucking the same girls? I asked my cousin how he would feel if I fucked this girl he was in a relationship with in high school. He said, nah, it wouldn't be cool. Mind you, we graduated in 09. You know, he said, get over it. <laughs> uh, how, I, mean, f I mean, Christopher Thompson, you have the name of, uh, of a, what do you call it? A colonizer. A conqueror. So it's kind of in your birthright to do so. You got you to gotta go claim that pussy is yours and rename it. Yeah. Plant a flag on now. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Plymouth Rock that pussy. Yeah. Yep, yep. It depends, man. It depends. Oh, not? Okay. So, but, I mean, realistically, this is your cousin. And if he dated the girl in high school, this... It you, depends on... It depends on two things, right? First of all, <sighs> oh, nine, like... I, I can't think of that many bitches that, like, how far removed are we from high school? Five years? More than that, probably. We're five years removed from high school. I can't you're think. You're more than five years removed. 2018. Maybe, like, five, six, you're, seven. Oh, you're six. Six. You're six. But I can't think of, like, bad bitches who are still bad, and we're six years removed. Nigga, this is 2024. Mm, how bad is, th how bad is some, this bitch? But Wait, you're tripping. Um, yeah. From 09 to now is a lot of time to improve. It's a lot of time to slow down to this. But what? No, it's no, no, a lot of time. No, no. And that bitch organs the, might be 47. You haven't seen it yet because you're still 24. So what's going to happen <laughs> Young blood. is some, some women who... He's a boomer. Some women who, yeah. Some women who aren't, who weren't really fully developed in the pretty department... I get become that when they're like 30. Yeah. Nigga, we right? know like at because, least three women from our school that have Because what happens with women over time in general. Not real. 
What happens from women over time in general is they start to understand how to take care of themselves better and better and better. Pussy just because starts improving in smell because they, they but, know what you know what I'm saying? Saying? You're right. Now, but there are women the who get time, that from a young age. At the same time. But there's a lot of women who don't, and then they progress. At the get same better. time. We're talking about a woman. This woman is your cousin's ex-girl. So it's, it's a certain no, it's level. Crazy that he's it's a it. different standard. Yeah, it's a, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Like, how bad that girl. is this bitch? You're Don't saying how bad is, You're saying she can't be bad. And I'm saying, she can't be that. She can't be saying. that bad. It well, doesn't I'm, matter I'm, how I'm bad she is. I'm trying to figure is. out why. No, don't fuck that girl. I'm on your side. But I'm just trying to figure out why you think she can't be bad. She's obviously bad enough for him to ask the question. If she was ugly, this wouldn't be a thing. If she was mm-hmm. ugly, his cousin probably wouldn't care if he Like, you're making it sound like shit always goes down with age. No, no. Look, nigga, look, be- just because I'm not trying to detect you. Give him two weeks. I'm saying, I'm talking I'm about saying, this woman. No, no. But okay. overall, I mean, like, how many women from your high school look better? I'll put it this way. I think, I don't know, because I'm, I'm not in contact with these women like that. You know what I'm saying? At all, really. But it so, only takes But let's say. So, but listen, but listen, listen, like listen I, know, I know one that, I know one that's that better looking, but she, she glowed up and like. Um, she glowed up in like junior year too. So that was like one of the homies. She glowed up and she's like better looking than she was back when she was like in ninth grade. But what I was going to say is it's normally the flip. I see pretty women, girls who are pretty in high school don't look as pretty when they get older. Uh-huh. And then I see women who weren't that good looking in high school, but were on top of certain things to get themselves to certain places because they were focused on certain shit. And then once they have the career in place, once yeah, they got literally. whatever in place, yeah, now yeah. they go ahead and focus on everything else together. And now they done glowed up. Because yeah, with the yeah. money, you glow up, right? You see, so Go ahead, go ahead. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That's, okay. that's how I normally see it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I was about to say, see, this is one of them situations where, like, Lauren's a couple years away from a prostate exam. Like, you got to take his word for this. He's seen Yeah, I'm, I'm like seven years away from that. They're cataracts. He's seen the, the full spectrum, evolution. Bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But don't fuck her because, n- nigga, that's nah, your cousin's yeah, girl in high school. Yeah, don't do it. We graduated with, nah. And, and it, it depends on, uh, actually, I will say, how much do you love your cousin? I mean, I love my cousin. How much do, not you, but how much does he love his cousin? And it's one of those things where, like, what if, cousin? If you First, have to, second, third? If you have to ask, then, then that, means, yeah. it, that means they were probably about to get married or some shit. Like, that's not even a question you would have to ask. Correct. Like, it sounds nigga, like this, this is, is a real this girl. Is, like, this is, this is a real emotional investment. This is 09. <clears throat> yeah. Like, and no, we saw don't this shit in 2024. Don't hit her. Yeah, yeah, don't yeah, do it. It's yeah it's don't crazy. do it. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't yeah, nah, don't fuck it. Don't fuck this up for yourself. There's plenty of pussy out there. And, you know, unless your cousin is just also fucking all the like, bad bitches in your area. Sounds like he's also thought about it from even back in 09 type shit. And yeah. the, fact that you're thinking of, the fact that you're thinking about it means you're probably running out of options. So it's something you need to do, nigga. Just use your imagination. But, just, you know. Yeah, nigga, right. Christopher, don't fuck that bitch. But um, while the while, do y'all be trying to play white jam <laughs> slash Lord, Lord, yeah, Lord Lauren. I don't like that at all. Lord Lauren? We just gonna let that happen, All right. <laughs> Lord Lauren. What? Like okay. he's athletically inept. Who would win in a one-on-one in basketball? AJ or Lauren? Is there anything athletically you all can admit you would be the best at tennis, wouldn't volleyball? Be the best oh, wouldn't? Oh, my fault. Wouldn't be the best at tennis, volleyball, baseball. Are y'all the kings of all sports? And Lauren would be the worst at all of them, no matter the competition. Probably, because I'm overconfident. But. What was the original question he asked? I was about to say, you read that think, shit like an eighth grader. I think grader. Lauren would definitely win against AJ in a basketball one on one. That's not even a question. Do y'all be trying to play White Jam like he's athletic? So, no, uh, Lauren is, he is athletic um, enough <laughs> to be called a man, of course. But in regards to like Sports. us. Yeah, sports. I mean, yeah, yeah, whatever you want. It doesn't matter. It's like sports, it, sports involved talking about us. It, it's, it's a little bit different. It's yeah, a little bit different. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. yeah, you know, it's like, of, this course, is always, of course, Lauren isn't supposed to agree like you're supposed this is to. The, this is always the funniest thing to me in the world, like hearing y'all talk that way. <laughs> but, it really, no, nah, it really makes me feel good to like, on, hear y'all talk this way. Come on, But that's, does, you know, because slouch, it's like, but, you know. It's just hilarious. But that's not. Here's, here's why it's hilarious. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you the absolute truth why it's hilarious. Okay? And if AJ was in because here, I'm you're, sure he'll say you're it. athletic. No, it ain't even about that. Yeah, I'm athletic, and all I know right, I'm good. athletic because I've, I've played sports all my life. Uh, okay, so I wasn't trying even, to, like, and we know that. don't go there yeah, too yeah, far. He nigga. might disqualify that, but, you but know, I, know I know give that. you yeah, that respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's just funny because <laughs> it's because Tone is good at one thing, and that's basketball. I can give that to him, right? 
He's still not unbeatable. You've proved that yourself, Nobles. You've beat him enough, right? He's, so not, he's, not, unbeatable. he's not unbeatable. He's not unbeatable. Not and unbeatable. That's fair. I get where you're going. And, 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 I get where you're going. That's, no, you don't, because the last, the next thing I'm going to say is <laughs> you are actually the worst person at sports in here. No. Nobles is the worst person at sports in here. No. So the thing is, a, no. Nobles is the worst person at sports in here. Tone is good How? at basketball. We, that's the only we, thing he'll probably have over have everyone we, else. We haven't played. I'm probably the most well-rounded um, and AJ is oh, let him get it off. Let him get it off. going to be AJ is going to be a wild card because we don't know what he's going to do in certain situations. Now you see, this so, is the problem with Lauren is that he uh, thinks being objective makes him athletic. Nah, you notice that? I know I'm already athletic. No. And you've already admitted that, so we're not talking about that. I'm and just being objective about what the real is. And the fact that first of all, true. the first of all, what other sport do you think? What other could, sport? Anything? Do you think that you could beat me yet? Anything? Like all of these. All of these right here. I can beat you. I can beat wait, you in tennis. I can beat you in soccer. Wait, you're I can beat you. You're wait, not beating all, me in volleyball. You're not beating me in soccer. Probably not volleyball. I'm destroying you in soccer. You're not. I grew up playing soccer. I did. That's too. the first sport I played. He's I'm from Jamaica, the nigga. He's to the ground. I'm from Jamaica. That's the first sport I played. Like I, I, I don't care if you was nigga. Bro, we can. Is there one in this bitch? Is, you're is crazy. there a light outside? I, and, bro. AJ versus <laughs> Lauren. Actually, good. Who would win in a one on one? One on one in basketball. That's Lauren, of course. AJ loses to everybody. <laughs> AJ loses to everybody here, but that doesn't count. AJ is the most athletically um, deficient. I don't, know, I don't even know what you want to yeah, call it. Uh, yeah, he's the least athletic person here. We know that. He's not athletically uh, gifted. At all, in sure. any means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't move much. But um, in terms of everybody else. And first of all, yeah, I, is there anything athletically you can admit you wouldn't be the best at? <clears throat> the best it's like, at? I don't... I, <sighs> Volleyball, I'm definitely. And are they saying sports or just like thing, anything? Cause, cause because I would say I know for a fact I'm not winning the strength contest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's not happening. But like, so Nobles is that is athletically capable. He's yeah. just not coordinated enough, coordinated enough for sports. And he's how? gotten a lot better. How? He's, he's gotten, gotten a lot he's better. Gotten how? A lot he's better. gotten a lot when better. When I've beaten the best nigga he's here that better. you haven't beaten, he's gotten a lot better. How am I the worst person You've when played? I've let? Well, I've allegedly. Beat the best person you've here, also, but I'm the worst. How? What? That doesn't also even make played, any sense, Tom. Hold on, let you me explain it to you. Let me explain it to you. You played the nigga 35 times. Bro, this is what all he saying. did was say that you're more athletic. That's just what he said. That's what he said. He but played, that's what he just he said. played but the fact, 35 but times. I'm not even saying that, actually. That's not what I'm saying. But that is kind of underlined. I said he's athletic. You're saying that is what you're saying. No, 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 listen. Because you admit that you're better, but he's the only one that Listen, no, no, no. I didn't say that. He's better, but he can't beat you. No, I didn't say that. Bro, I've played Tone like six times. He beat me. That's fine. You've played this nigga 35 times, okay? You played. Way more than that. No, okay. 35,000. Okay, 35, all right. 000. So there's going to be like a discrepancy be in the amount of... That's, I'm just but saying in general, just the is, amount of playing. It, it, you what I'm literally... Saying is, okay. What I'm saying is, I'm saying that you are athletically capable. That's what I said. I didn't say you're, you're better than me. I said you're athletically capable. And then I said you're just not coordinated enough for sports if to be I, better than everyone in this room. I literally, I'm the best boxer here. I literally beat the best basketball player here. What am I going to have to do for y'all to understand that if I actually applied myself to these sports that y'all love, well, not you not more so to say, much, but yeah, you know, know I, whatever with you and your basketball. Yeah, yeah. But that I would literally destroy everybody in this fucking room. And what? And nah, the fact no, you, nah. and first of all, and what? to what Lauren said, nah. Lauren, you can't say I'm the worst until you beat Tone. That's literally how that works. That's literally the line. Uh, that's fair. That's no, literally that's the fair. line. No, that's fair. That's just the line. It's not the line. That's it's just fair. the line. It's, it's not. No, it's not. Because you might. No, listen to what you're Listen. I, I might not go have. Ahead, go ahead. All the tricky fucking moves. I'm not talking about but that. But I don't need to. I can rise above. I can. I can do a little bit of that. that. I'm not talking about you that. You know what I'm I mean? I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about work. share numbers. Like if if you play a person a hundred times, like you know saying like law this, of averages. This law of averages. That's all I'm talking about. Like, but but the law of if we was to both play tone fifty times in basketball, y'all both lose fifty <laughs> times in a row. <laughs> it, but our me and Tone's 50 mm -hmm. games mm -hmm. would be so much so more grueling here's, here's than the, your 50 no, games. No, here's what I'm trying to say, though, because you're talking about the application. And that's just you're, in basketball. You're talking about the application. We're not talking <laughs> about you're the talking, fist You're talking about application. Like, you said, if you apply yourself. Nigga, if I take that same thing and say, if I apply myself, I destroy. I haven't applied myself at this either, nigga. You're not the only one who has that's it. True. Okay, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. You're no, not the true. only Nobody's one who trying. has it, nigga. Like, that's true. come on. That's true. That's true. But what I'm saying is... I have way more of an affinity to sports Shit. than you. 
Just based, <laughs> just based off, just based off, just Shit. based off the fact Nigga. that I'm more athletically Nigga. gifted. You crazy? I'm serious. I was a fucking prodigy, nigga. At what? Soccer. I was a soccer prodigy. <laughs> everybody, nigga, I was. Everybody was good at soccer, nigga. All right. Like that's what I'm saying. Uh, like, all right. All right. All right. So I got a soccer trophy. Right. I don't even remember. I don't that's even. what I'm saying, yeah, nigga. Nah. Like it's soccer. It's but um, we 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 know the uh, deep down. Well, right. is there anything that we can admit that we wouldn't be the best at? I already did. Like I know I'm not winning no strength contest. Uh, okay. Sports, Speed, anything. Jumping, I'm, not best, shit, I'm not the best. I'm not the best at baseball. I'll give you that. And I, 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 I look the most Dominican. So I probably watch. I'm not the best at niggas. baseball. I didn't even count that as sport. Yeah, I probably I'm, be. like. As far as like being outfield and like catching shit, I'll be okay with that. I'm, I'm pretty hands. good at that. But I as far hands. I got good hands. As far as like stepping up to the plate and being the guy who's going, you know, knock it out the park. That the, the, the baseball. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Who do you think would be the best at football? It depends on the position. Um, I'm gonna say me. I think it would be me. I would be me. I, I, the only reason I'm gonna say <laughs> like, the, the only uh, reason the only, I'm the reason only one I'm gonna say played. me that. Yeah, in high school. Granted, you was red Depends shirt, right? Position. You was red shirt. No, nah, I mean, I just... No, you I got just it two games. Yeah, yeah, I was saying, he was red shirt. That's what I'm saying. It depends but on the position, It though. definitely depends on the position. Because I know I'm the shifties in here. I don't know about that. I'm I the don't know about that. I'm no, the shifties in here. The only reason I'm, I'm the shifties in here. I don't know. I'm I the shifties most, in here. I have the most recovery speed like, nah. when it comes down to it. Um, I, I know I have the best form tackling because I did it. Um... I'm the, I just know I'm the shifties. Mm, I'm shifty than you niggas, and I have to. I'm shiftier than you niggas, and I have to dribble. I, I don't, don't even have to put the ball. I, also don't I think, can just move. I also don't think you have hands. I don't think you can catch a football. No, I have hands. I, I definitely. No, have hands. I don't think you can catch a football under pressure. I, I definitely know, have hands. I don't know if you have the acceleration as necessary. That's what I'm saying. Uh, there's there's a difference in catching a football just when somebody's throwing it to you. There's there's a difference in catching a football when somebody's throwing to you, and there's a difference when catching a throw football under pressure when there's when there's, there's defense. My you're running are, and you're not talking about something. You're just looking up. You have to look back and like understand what's going on. Position yourself. Position. My hands you know are saying? better than his. Position yourself to be away from the person who's trying to. <laughs> it's obviously not. My yeah. hands are better than yours. <laughs> it's obviously. My hands are better than it's yours. Obviously not. My hands. Are, who do you feel more confident in passing the ball to and catching the ball? What at football? In terms of coordination, like nigga, in football. football? Uh, like I don't know. he's trying now. to compare. Come on now. But you, that's coordination. That's not even. I'm gonna get a football. I'm gonna bring football. Like uh, football for sure. Oh yeah, just uh, add it to the list. Uh, All right, cool. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Best hands. Best hands in the business. Oh, best hands. Down. That's the thing about football. It's literally everything. It's like yeah, athletic. Like who's that's faster? What you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Who's fucking? Yeah. It's like it's so much deeper than hands. Yeah, it's strength, nigga. Yeah. Now, Lauren, you don't got shit on nobody in here in volleyball. No, probably not. That's not happening. Probably not. That's not happening. Yeah, nah. That that that's just not even fair. What other sports are there? Uh, you'll probably be good at gymnastics. If I was able to do all that shit, like I mean, I have the capability, like as far as strength and flipping and like jumping and all that you shit. But I don't know the, yeah. I don't know the, I don't know the technical side of it. Like I don't do it. You'd currently. be the best gymnast too. I just don't do it currently. You'd you know definitely be the best gymnast. You got the best center of gravity. Mm-hmm. AJ, <laughs> I don't know. AJ be the best at sumo wrestling. Hot dog, hot dog competitions. Yeah, yeah. I'd yeah, probably yeah. be the best at wrestling. No. no. Yeah, I'm the best at wrestling. I might be the best at wrestling. Yeah, I think he might be the best at wrestling. I'll definitely be the best nah, at wrestling. I think, sure. I think, I think, I think it'll be between hey. him and AJ just nah. because of like he's the only one. Well, not the only one. I'm a good wrestler, but he bro. has good technique. I'm, I'm actually and I have AJ to, has I have good to, I've, I've legitimately wrestled. I'm, I'm a good wrestler. I'll probably be the better wrestler. I'm, I'm just saying in general, like I we can we can put that one up for grabs. But I just want to tell you, I'm a good wrestler. I mean, shit, we got plenty of room in the studio. We can do it. But I'm uh, just saying in general. I watch y'all niggas. I'll probably wrestle. I'll probably win. I'm I'm a good wrestler, bro. I'm, I'm shifty. Good, I'm I'll sprawl. Like it's. I'm good. I'm, good, yeah, Yo, yeah, I'm not good. gonna lie. The more I'm thinking about it, I'm pretty Lauren good. might wrestle. You more, Lauren might. Head, but Lauren might. Lauren might. Before head. you get. Lauren before might you head. finish the sentence or after, nigga. Uh, <laughs> right after you get unfolded like, from being come a wrestler, nigga. Hell no. First of all, I'm. I think I got Lauren for right. sure. Right. I think I got Lauren. Right. I don't we know. can have a friendly match one of these days. It's fine. We can do it right now. For sure. I mean, but nah, not right now. His waves got to get permanent first. You I might mean, we can. It's fine if you want to. rub off his puddles. Make, make space. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have to but s- foot sweep. Did we answer this next. complete question? I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Uh, wait. wait oh, what I'll, I'll put it back up. Uh, says, are y'all the kings of the last one? All sports and Lauren would be the worst? Oh, you already talked yes. about that. Oh, yeah, yeah. We already answered that. Yeah, yeah. he already said yes uh-huh. for whatever reason he believes. Accurate. Um, yeah, Lauren sense. wouldn't be the worst, but um, he he's best. definitely a up and upper runner for worse in sports. 
Uh, uh, <laughs> Nutzo, yeah, right. hashtag Wild Y. Have you ever had that? I'm latex. My ex did that shit a lot as a joke. And the new girl had what? new girl had one where I thought she was nine days late. Luckily, nothing happened. XD. You don't wear condoms in the Netherlands, nigga? That's just crazy. I think it, they have uh, low STD rates. Mm. It's not necessary. So the pussy is free and safe out there. So mm. I, I understand why you're in this predicament. I've never had the... Uh, wait, no. Yeah, I have. Well, it wasn't a text, but she just told me in person. I was about to say, I had a, a comical bitch once. She tried to, you know, do some funny shit like that. <laughs> um, you're like, oh, like, I didn't, I don't got it. Yeah. yeah nah, my girls always knew not to play with me like uh, that. My gr- I, I had a girl did that to me, do that to me once, and I was livid. I had never been that angry where before. She'd never seen me that angry, which is yeah. a joke. You started speaking Patois and shit. Because yeah. I responded a certain way to it, which was like a responsible manner, right? It's just like, like yeah, hey, we're going to have to handle this. We're going to have to, you know what I'm saying, do what we got to do. We got to figure out how we got to do it. Here's what we're going to do financial-wise. Let's start making these plays. And then she came out and was like, I was really, like, I love the answer so much. I just have to tell you I was playing, all this shit. I was like, don't play with me like that ever in your life. Yeah. Don't fucking play with me like that because I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready to tell my parents. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not doing it, but mentally I'm, I'm getting ready to, like, prepare my parents for this shit. Like, everybody, like, hey, look, this was finna happen. This was, like, I'm just thinking about what's going to happen. You were thinking about having the baby? I would, yeah. If I did that, like, it was oh, my girl. Shit. It was my girl. So it wasn't like, mm. you know uh-huh. what I'm saying? Mm. But it was just a joke that she made. Oh, nigga, don't ever play with, like, yeah, don't do that ever in your life That's a $400 again. Dollar joke for yeah, me. Yeah, don't fucking play like that. Yeah, nah. It's nothing funny about that. It's yeah. nothing funny about that. Yeah, it's nothing funny about that. And if she's, if your new girl is doing that shit. A lot, by the way. It, what's that? Her ex did that a lot. His ex did that a lot as a joke. <laughs> what type of sick bitch was but that? His, <laughs> but his new girl had one where, you know, he thought she was nine days. First of all, nine days late? Luckily, nothing happened, though. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, nine days late. that happens sometimes. Late. Doesn't that happen, like, yeah, like you know, with your girl? Your girl be late sometimes, I'm sure. Yeah, uh, but nine days, nigga? I hope not. Once it gets yeah, past, yeah. like, four, three, it gets a little... But, like, even, it's, but it's, sometimes it gets a little on your mind. Like, when it's, but like, granted, day it's four, lingering. you be like, hold on. What but day, day four, that is normal for most women to mm. not get that, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. fine. My girl should be Sometimes it come up early. A week late sometimes. Even that. Yeah. It's like, damn, it's a week early, man. It's a little different. Trying to hurry up and get this shit out the way, but uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, nah. Luckily, like yeah and no to that, you know. Yeah. But so. shit, if you watch all the while, you know, I done gave plenty of bitches playing bees. Yeah, he gives it out like pop tarts. Yeah, yeah, nah. I keep them in the car like worst pull out game there's ever been. So we know that. Be the yeah, case Lauren's thinking things. about how well I pull out. What? While a while, when your boy's birthdays, pause and keep it a hundred. Okay. If it's a mill on the line for the game winning shot, who will be the one to take it and why? Uh, well, I'll answer the first question. I'll let everybody else answer the second question because, you know, it's just like, I don't feel like I should be a part of that conversation. Uh-huh. But uh, my birthday, should, should we lie? Nigga, why are you lying about your birthday? I don't know. It's like, that. Is that too personal information? With, I'm going to say, I'm gonna say my birthday's in January. There you go. He want to know our astrological signs. He can figure that out. I'm a Capricorn. Yeah, gonna... I'm, I'm a Capricorn, brother. There you go. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, what are you? I'm July 20th. <laughs> What is that? Uh, cancer. Oh, interesting. Hmm. They say cancers get into their feelings, and I think he's finally becoming a cancer, and that's why all these things are happening. But we'll, we'll change that. They say Capricorns I don't know what are gay. Do when it's his season. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they do say that about Capricorns. That what? What do you say? Capricorns are gay. That's what they say, <laughs> they say about that? Capricorns. Yeah, they say I they, didn't know that. Yeah, no. Nah. say they're fucking Damn, gay. Damn, I had no idea. <laughs> they say Capricorns are gay? Yeah. I, I, honestly, for the most part, I've never heard. What do they say about Capricorns? Capricorns. No, I just kept. Question it so you come clean and just. They do say they're gay, but they also. But but I'm also I'm also wondering like I haven't heard anything else. Don't try that, nigga. They say they're gay. Yeah. Don't try that, nigga. Yeah. They they say that we're uh, bossy, stubborn. They say the Libras are the pimps. You know the most pimping out of the bunch, but uh. Controlling is what they say. Yeah, and uh. Second question with Mill on the line. Who who y'all taking for the game winning shot? Probably it, putting it in AJ's hands. It all depends, right? Cause um Tone, you can't trust Tone with the last winning shot because yeah. he's not gonna know what to do with it. Meaning he's gonna get flustered. He's gonna oh. like mm-hmm. I, I've seen it happen. I wouldn't want Tone to take the last shot, but I would want Tone to set up the nigga yeah. who would take the yeah. the next yeah. shot. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't want Tone to take the last shot. But either. um because the reason I wouldn't is because Tone hits the game winning shot in games that we play, but only because he has three chances to hit it. 
type shit. You know what I'm it's, saying? It's not like it's, a, it's not a like finale. One time, yeah, it's not a one time. You know what I mean? Boom, that's the finisher. Yeah, it's, it's like not. it's a build up to it's get a, to the yeah, winning shot. It's like that. that so um, it's like oh, got a good rebound. I can shoot it again. Yeah, yeah. You know. That type yeah, of shit. nah. Honestly, whoever the fuck open. That's real. Who's shit. ever open? That's real shit. Whoever is open. Yeah. I'll and if we're playing good. five on five, like, let's say we have Nance. It also yeah. It also depends on the range. Where's where's the last shot being taken from? You know. Um. Three point shot. It has to be three point. Just that. Okay, you know. three point shot. I'm I'm probably giving it to AJ or Nance. That's I respectable. Might, I might give it to Nobles too. I feel comfortable. Yeah. I definitely feel comfortable. Yeah. But if AJ don't do give like it, to stay yeah, on that fucking yeah, three point line, he does like to stay on it. That's why I said AJ at first. So yeah, that was probably that's yeah. probably why I said that. Don't, last shot definitely though. don't definitely don't give it to me on for the three point shot. Uh, last last shot though. I take AJ. Race, though. Yeah, AJ. So what you saying, AJ? Would you nominating yourself? Nah, it really, whoever open. I kind of mm-hmm. trust everybody. I trust Lauren, yeah. too. No, I appreciate that. Uh, open shot, for yeah, sure. open shot, yeah. Open shot, we can do it. Contested? Contested? Tone, tone might have contested. Contested? You might have that contested shot, Tone. That's the thing, like... <sighs> you were AJ. That's, that's what I'm saying. It, it, it could go either way, for real, for real. Hey. It could go either way. Hey, hey. Yeah, it, it's a, this but is all personal But you taking, you taking the last shot, like, of course, it's like... If you're open, like you know, what I mean, take yeah. the last shot for nah, sure, nah, for sure. Nah, but it's not. Sure. He said that at the beginning. Whoever opened, he said that. But it's not a. But it's not like. Nah, because I've seen you. I, I like it's, it. Hasn't been enough times where it's like, all right, final shot, you make it first time. Right. Like right. It, it hasn't been that many it's, times. It's mostly. But it's I, been a lot of times where, like, you set up somebody, or it's like, just somebody else shoot that motherfucker. Hey. Or hey. or it's like. I've shot it, and we got the board and the team, and I give it back to him, and he shot it again, and boom, game hey, winner. Hey. You know, so it's been like that. I can't like help that. what you've seen. But it's never been just the give me the ball, boom, boom, finish off, just off of that, like, immediate nature. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's normally no a killer, second attempt, no third instinct. attempt kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 But he, he'll finish yeah. it, though. He'll mm-hmm. still he'll finish it. He'll definitely it'll, still finish it, but it's not. He'll still finish it, but it's not good enough for that. It'll be like a third, second, third attempt. It's not like the... Like grandioso win that y'all think it would be, it would have been, yeah. exactly. you know what I'm saying? It no, and it's not like a buzzer beater. No, it's mm-hmm. like it, it's, yeah, because these guys have yeah. known my whole career. They've seen you know a lot of what I've done, uh, mm-hmm. my history mm-hmm. and all that. Uh-huh. So I guess these are the best people to tell you about my game. For okay. Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, it's totality. No reason to have attitude. No, it's not attitude. <laughs> no, nah, the question was personal. Is who would y'all choose? Who? would y'all choose if y'all were you know in that decision making seat and sadly I, I hate to see y'all lose games but you know <laughs> apparently y'all want to lose games <laughs> I mean I got you I know get, right. I mean I've definitely I mean it's, it's right. whatever who would you choose uh myself okay if you couldn't choose yourself who would you choose uh another version of me if but you, you couldn't see, choose any version of yourself at all, who would you choose? I'd come in a woman and wait 19 years. <laughs> that's the version of you. That's your son. That's your seed. Yeah, but it's not me, though. That's the next generation. That's the, version that's the evolution. Of you. Yeah. All right, if and that nigga would miss, there's, too. If there's a, another human being that was had no ties to you that you had to choose, and there was someone within the Menace Material group, who within would you the choose? Men- well, I mean, it, there's a lot of factors. Like, if Justin brings his lucky charms, I'm going to go with Jay. Okay, okay. Because you know he's got the power of the universe bestowed upon him. Okay. And you know, Jesus hit walks. that shot. Jesus walks. If I need like a game winning rebound, I'm gonna probably go AJ. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay. I feel like he's good for just like one loose one, real quick. Okay. okay. But nigga, we we talking about the shot. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna like, hit the shot. I'm I'm taking the shot. I don't know, dog. I don't know. And if not me, honestly, I haven't seen you like do it enough times to where like that's just a definitive thing though. And that's okay. It, which isn't like it's not, it's not like a, a slight. Yeah, it's not a slight. I'm not taking it as a slight. Okay, okay. a little defensive. I'm, I, what am I supposed to say? I said that's okay. Uh, that's true. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like I'm not being defensive. This is y'all opinion. I can't yeah, like argue true. y'all opinion. It's true. It's true. I know I'm great at basketball. I know I'm gonna hit the last shot. That's not on you to know that though. It's on you to stop that from happening. Because most of the time it's probably gonna be in one of y'all niggas' heads. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. hit game winners True. on Lauren before. You, you have. In after, his face, in his mouth. After the third Several attempt. Times. After the third attempt. Several times. Yeah, you have. Probably. Several you have. times. Sorry, after the third you've attempt. You've never beaten me. After the third attempt. 
I I never said you did. I but did. you see, you getting a little bit defensive. Yeah, you very defensive. So I'm saying, yeah, I'm just okay. my point. <laughs> <laughs> you answer the question like I don't have to answer the second part. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's a I already know. Nah, 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 I trust nah, myself. Nah, of, course, of course, of course, of course. That's good. That's good. You should. Mm-hmm. You should. We trust you too. Yeah, nah. With the third attempt. <laughs> say three times the charm. Yeah, hey, you say you say it takes you three times to hit one game winner. Yeah, it took him like how many games to hit none? He I've, won, I've hit you've never winners. hit a game. He's yeah. never game winner. He's never won a game, 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 game that I was a part of. Yeah, I have nigga. You have not beat me in twenty one. You've not beat me in one on one. No, me and oh. long, we've teamed up. Uh, in um, that game was never mm-hmm. finished. We were about, we were about to whip your ass. And about to whip my ass because you left. Yeah, you you left. told your girl he to text you. Are we gonna play again? Yeah, we can. Like, when are we gonna play again? Yo, my Mondays are open. So that all the silence can just be quiet. Except for tomorrow, I'm I'm off on Mondays now. So except mm, for tomorrow, you be off on Mondays. I'll be off on Mondays. Oh, but everybody works. So, but real quick though, <laughs> to, you know, to the podcast, to the podcast family, to yeah. the to the Legion leader, to the LOI, uh, what we call them hoes, the lovely ladies of LOI. Excuse me, them beautiful women. <laughs> it's part of me. Sisters, <laughs> I slipped up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those lovely ladies, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Um, tone groove. It's not going to be talking basketball no more. Or well, I'm going to talk about basketball, but you're not going to hear me talking shit no more because I'm in the phase right now well, to where you're I, back. and I've been training. So yeah. that's why this conversation is absurd to me. How, when are you and that's doing why it? the next time we hoop, I'm ready. How like, often have you been to training? Uh, like three or four days a week for like where the past at? two weeks. Where? At? I've been going to, since I've been getting off early enough, it's mm-hmm. this place called Marsh Creek. they will be open at 630. Okay. I'll be in that bitch. I see. Putting in pain. I think I'm going to have to start doing like 5 a.m. wake ups. Or not 5 a.m., 4 a.m. wake ups, because I already do 5 every now and then. Mm-hmm. 4 a.m. wake ups to get some workout done. I might, you know, I might take my work clothes with me, drive to a court, had an early morning shooting, doing what I need to do, get myself right, go through my drills, bring some cones out there, you know, get right. But all in all, I care about these. All in all, because that's the only thing that you can probably coordinate. I care about these. All in all. That's not a diss. All you in know all. boxing's harder. All in all. Kickboxing's harder. Trying to punch all somebody's face is all. harder. No, not really. It, I'm pretty it's sure. actually, it's, it's really definitely hard. Hard. trying to punch somebody's face is hard. It's very hard. It's so much harder than trying to put a fucking ball in a goal. Okay, sure. For sure. Okay, for sure. I think so. To be accurate all the time is hard. For sure. So you think Floyd Mayweather had a better chance of going to the NBA than he did at boxing? No, I think he had a better chance to be good at that than as great as he is in boxing. I think I think no NBA player can just become a boxer. Yeah. Like, for sure, no. You think boxers just can become NBA players? What's that one big not black quite, nigga who uh, punch hard? Who? Francis Ngannou? No, not UFC? him. That is oh, a big black nigga that punch yeah, hard. But you're talking, I'm talking about, about Deontay Wilder? Deontay Wilder. Uh-huh. Like... It, Shit, nigga, about six five, six six, and you think being tall is a predication for being good at but basketball? But it's it's one, it's All one, right. it's right. one, and you taking the last shot. Well, you, but can, it's you can say one. one thing about that. There are niggas who play, end up playing in the NBA who aren't athletically skilled, really, when it comes to the game of basketball. But they played their position like Jokic, especially back in the day. Yo, what what's, well, yeah, back in the day, but especially back in the day, literally, Jokic is built like that one fat white dude. Yeah. Um, my, uh, Tyson Fury. Yeah. Tyson Fury. There are yeah. a lot more. There are a lot more twenty-year-olds who are really tall who end up in basketball and somehow make it to the league than there are boxers who start boxing at twenty and end up a champion. Literally, boxing is boxing and kickboxing is so I much harder. I don't think it's that. Like I don't think just because it's like I don't, that's not a good indication because there's a lot of different things to go into that. With basketball, there's a league, there's a structure and a path to get there. Boxing, the world of boxing is a world. There's different organizations, there's different promoters. It's not like a we all get drafted to this universal <clears throat> thing. There is boxing. a there is a there is a yes there is, and those are the greats. They all get drafted to the, that to, level of professional boxing where you are uh, a pay per view boxer, where you are at the MGM Grand, where you are at these certain places. And it's just like basketball, like it's a bunch of shitty organizations that's playing in Mexico. I don't give a yeah, fuck about. Yeah. Them niggas yeah. playing for two yeah. cents and yeah. a, a banana. But I don't what give I a fuck. will what I will say on your side is there are still there are professional boxers who become professional after starting at twenty years old. They just normally don't get that great. They don't really get that. Yeah. Boxing is hard, man. All right, it's hard. Tell me. So what's your excuse for being but, bad at um, basketball if you can box? I mean, nah. What are you talking about? You're trying to connect two dots that have no reason to be connected. Nah, I'm just you, saying. You connected. I'm just dots. saying the the sport. I literally said it's hard to hit a nigga in the face and you got defense. Basketball is a great sport, but it's not the pinnacle of like what makes somebody a great uh, athlete. 
It's not like the pinnacle of sports. Yeah, being able to fight somebody is. Right. That's what makes you athletic. It's, it's definitely up there. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Sure. Because it's definitely Tyson a lot Fury more reliable. looks athletic as hell, right? It's definitely a lot more reliable. It's a little bit more I reliable. Know, but uh, you can be fat and still be good at boxing. You can't be a fat and unathletic and be good at basketball still at the highest level. I mean. It's true. Unless you're Shaq. And, that, like, that's. You got to be nimble as fuck for your weight. That's yeah. not just the and, average and, fat person. And, and, be, and you're not really that out of shape. Like the bigger guys who are boxing 12 rounds. Yeah, still, of course. You're not that not really out of shape. Yeah, you're not really truly ounce, out of shape. 12, 12 rounds of boxing is crazy. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a it's lot. Crazy. Heavyweight. It's heavy. That's crazy. Like uh, when you was outside in the field, y'all niggas was taking breaks. I was yeah, good. Yeah, like yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's I a was lot. good. It's a lot. Kind no, of. I was the one who was taking nah, breaks. I'll take that for sure. Like, kind of. Nah, my my whatever. literally the biggest problem I have is my stamina. It's and I perfectly just, fine. The I, hardest. It's hard. It's, it's hard, so man. hard. And I just I get like especially in the wintertime, nigga. I shut down on the outside activity uh-huh. and like trying to do the workouts. Like I haven't hit my my heavy bag all winter. Once once it gets warm and it's still warm in the mornings, oh nigga, I'm outside. And, and it makes it worse. Like our body is on like a a clock with the you know what I mean like. Wintertime, it is hibernation season anyway. Low key. You know what I'm saying? Key. That's why bitches get fat. Yeah. During the winter. Yeah. That's literally why. But uh, yeah, man. Um, you know, we've been talking shit the whole, this whole time. Tone Rainbow doesn't believe that. Nah, that's the last one. Tone doesn't believe that boxing is uh, more difficult than basketball. But uh, sure. We're going to gonna do these goddamn Olympics. We're going to get it done for y'all, for us. I know y'all been waiting for this goddamn Patreon. And if you haven't, check out the Patreon. It's five dollars for now. Um, yeah, it's five dollars for now. So yeah, definitely check that out. Literally, but you know, it was a great show. Uh, it was a cool show. This show. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You know, thank you yeah. for being a part of this shit. You know, watching yeah. it for sure. Yeah, yeah, totality. Yeah. You know, Absolutely. Asking for advice. Yeah. Like asking yeah. questions. Participating. Yeah. Liking. Commenting. And shout out to all the wild the wild egos. And look, convincing uh, Lauren, he's athletic. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, Vincent yeah. Justin, he's a super nigga. Definitely. I needed all that, so thank you for you, Look, people it, in the comments. For all the reasons you tune in, we love it. We love y'all. Shout out to lovely ladies, the Legion of Leisure. Like, share, subscribe. Five dollar Patreon. We do have an announcement coming in a couple weeks, so prepare yourself. Oh, next week we're having a good friend of ours. I met the good brother uh, Jay Ward um, at the In the Fest Galaxy. Have you heard of him, Jay Ward? Uh-uh. Uh, he's a cool brother. Okay. But uh, he's going to be on next week, so prepare for that. It's a bunch of black shit. Is that, that's going to be the last uh, Black History episode, right? Nigga, the last Black History <coughs> episode was the this first one. one. It, oh, it was this one? Yeah. Oh, shit. It was the first episode we did. No, black no. We, we talked about black shit sparingly. But uh, love y'all niggas. It's been good. It's been great. You know what I mean? Three Oak Mondays, Homeroom Tuesdays, LOI you've been watching. Jay Nobles. Stone Groove. Right man behind the boards. Yeah. We have.